least he has to do. And I'm going to find my true love. Your perfect match. <laughs> my perfect match. <laughs> so we've gotten a couple boys to come into a house and we're gonna have a reality dating, dating show. show. We're gonna have the boys do different challenges and I'm just gonna get to know them and see who wins my heart. And then we're going to slowly eliminate some guys throughout the week and we'll see who wins. I've been single for three years now and I think it's time to settle down and actually, you know, not just like casually talk to someone but to find love. So I guess my ideal guy is someone who's smart, athletic, obviously very cute, but in the end it's really like their heart that speaks more to me, like if they're kind, if they treat others nicely, and if they treat people with respect, and if they have integrity. I think a big deal breaker for me is someone who doesn't respect my career, and that my career is first, always. I think my sister knows me very well to help me pick out the right guy. I'm really excited that she's on the show helping me. Let's do this. First guy, here we go. Oh. Ooh. Okay, the door's opening. <gasps> oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I no. like his shirt. It's just gray. I don't know, I just... <laughs> oh, oh, guy too? There's just, ooh, <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> no way, I like his jacket. <laughs> well, oh, oh, why did he do that? <laughs> Is he a dancer? I like his hair too. <laughs> He's got a dimple. Ooh, I see. <laughs> He's oh, really he's smart. Cute. Oh, oh, oh. It's a pretty good option. Here's oh my little. gosh. What does he do? He's an editor. Does he edit YouTube videos? He does. He reminds me of like Taylor Lautner kind of. <laughs> oh. This house is ridiculous. Like I've never been in anything like this. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, I'm from Florida. Sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there was just a bunch of tension that just built up just now. I know. As soon as he walked he in. He didn't even say hi to anyone. Okay. Oh, there's another guy! <gasps> Ooh, his arms. Arms are a weakness of mine. I feel weird judging these boys based I know, off their looks, too. right? Like, off the bat. I want to, like, get to know these guys. Send in the next guy. Alex! <laughs> what is that? What is Alex here? I am about to compete with all these dudes for Nessa's part. Vanessa and Veronica don't know I'm coming, but I'm coming. Because they know that the Wasabian family and the Twinner family all ship you guys, so let's see if you, <laughs> there's something there. Okay, so what do you oh. think? Overall thoughts. <sighs> I think we just gotta see who's gonna be the best one. Gotta get to know them, do, let them do the challenges. Luckily, right off the bat, somebody cracked a joke and we all started palling around. There are a bunch of dudes looking at me like competition. I'm kind of like, have my eye on a few of them, you know. They might act nice, but we'll, we'll see later on how the true colors show. Shall we go meet them? Meet them? Okay. Hey guys! trying to win the heart of my identical twin sister, Vanessa, so why don't we meet her? Let's talk it out. Oh. This is my Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I'm Vanessa. I couldn't have pictured a, a better girl to come walking down that stairs. There's two of them, and they are the cutest and sweetest girls ever, and I'm really excited to get to know them. Vanessa is honestly gorgeous, and I could definitely see me uh, talking to her more and uh, seeing where it goes. They honestly gave me a very like good first impression. I don't know if it's their smiles, but they look very like genuine, like nice people. We're going to be playing a game to get to know you guys right off the bat. We're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. Oh. I've played this game before and it can get quite revealing. I'm going to ask you questions and you guys raise your hand if you have and if you haven't, just keep it down. 
So these are kind of simple questions. Um, never have I ever cheated on a test. Wait, so we raise your hand. Raise your hand. You you have. Have. I knew <laughs> everyone here would forget that. Yeah, right? I did. Raise but your hand if you have. have. Am I supposed to play? Yeah. 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 Not even on homework. Come on, Matt. When you were in third grade, you looked over. <laughs> <laughs> you Have I cheated on a test? I don't think so. Here's a risque one. Never have I ever skinny dipped. All right. So All Florida. Florida. Yeah, yeah, Florida kids. A lot of Florida people, so like shout out Florida. And I am not from Florida, thank God. Okay, never have I ever broken a bone. Oh, no. What did you break? I broke my hip, my elbow, and my ankle before. Oh my yeah. Back in my sixth grade, when I was a like cool skater boy, I shattered my wrist in five pieces. <gasps> Never skated again. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. <sighs> Oh, uh, what do you have? Okay, I have so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just say I have this. Which one, <laughs> which, which one would you keep though? If you had to keep one. I want uh, to probably my stomach one. It's like my fist goal. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Whoa. I think Brandon's my biggest competition here. That man has nice hair, nice tattoos. He was just like, Whoa. and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Brandon had to lift his shirt and show his tattoos. Never have I ever been cheated on. Yeah. As far as I know. I've been uh, hurt in my past before. I've been cheated on twice, so it makes me keep my guard up just a little bit more. Never have I ever been in a talent show. Oh, I have, yeah. Okay, well that's perfect because it leads into Should the next I? thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a talent show. <laughs> <laughs> so the talent show is gonna be where you guys showcase us something that you have a talent of. Oh boy. Um, that's whack. Like, they sprung it on us so quick, and I'm not very talented, so fingers crossed it goes well. We'll give you about like 30 minutes just to like think about it or like to prepare. Talent show? I'm ready, I'm prepared, and I'm gonna win it. I have no clue what to do. You, you come with me for a second. Okay, oh, I can whoa. All right, so Alex is here, and it's funny, but like the first chance I get to pull him aside and talk to him, I'm gonna take it because. Like, why is he here? That boy. Oh my gosh. I love Alex, but I've been friends with him for years. So I know the path to Nessa's heart. I think I got it. I think okay. we've been friends for a while. Do you have a talent? Are you ready for the talent? I have no talents. It seems a little odd that Alex Wasabi knows the twins. It seems like it's kind of, you know, an unfair advantage. I mean, I just gotta play my cards right, and you know, competition for me, not for them. So right now the guys are prepping for the talent show and I'm super nervous. I don't know what they're going to do. Everyone seems so different and I feel like they each have their own different like skills and talents. So I'm really excited to see. I know, you should have seen the look on some of their faces when I said a talent show. Some of them were like, and then some were like, yeah. <laughs> So I saw these guys have been pulling Vanessa to the side. You know, I took that time to perfect my song just to hopefully impress her. And you know, I just hope she likes it because that time I could have spent time talking to her. Talking to Vanessa is going great. And then Brandon just walks in in the middle of it. Meanwhile, I'm having a great conversation and just cuts me off. I need to watch out for that man. Yeah, I pulled her over. I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I'll talk to her any day of the week and I'll pull her away from any of the other guys. How long have you been out here? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Two, Two weeks. weeks? I thought it'd be super funny and a great addition to this show if we brought our dad along. Because we're very family oriented and if the guys don't get along with our dad, it may be a deal breaker. But the catch is the guys don't know he's our dad. <laughs> Uh, we're pretending that he's our manager. The advice I give to these guys is really, really simple. Don't be a boy, be a man. All right, uh, welcome to the talent show. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. So uh, first up, Tim. Tim, where are you at? Bring it on. Most people will go like, whoa, that's amazing, because most people can't do it. Timothy was kind of a devastating blow. 
he came out strong. He kind of took it to the like the next level and he started like slamming his body and spinning all around on the ground. And he had me sold, honestly. Like, he's a great dancer. I thought that was really cool. And I have a thing for dancers. Do we have any grapes? Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Oh. Okay. I mean, a grape in the mouth, come on. How high do you think that ceiling is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, three's good. I can get it. You get lost. I believe it. Five four. Oh. Yeah. He's still going. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah, yeah. I ran up the stairs for that. That's impressive as heck, dude. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Oh. Kind of hoping he'd fail, but like he didn't. <laughs> Talent complete. Oh. He's a definite ham. Matt is up. I'll let you explain what you're gonna do. So I haven't done a handstand in a while, so there's probably a 50% chance that I'm just gonna fall over. So crossing my fingers and hoping it goes well. Oh! oh. oh. Great turn. Oh. All right, next up, Jay is gonna be teaching you something. Jay, come on up. I'm teaching you guys how to use sign language today. <gasps> so yeah, uh, background. So your name, name is a little I. Is. So then B. B. A. N. E. E. S. A. A. And then we can do one more quick one. So you know, so this is I, mm -hmm. L, L, and Y. Y. So if you put them together, can you get what that spells? Oh, I, I love you. Oh, Christian, you're up, man. Oh, what's up? Uh -oh, can I get my be table? Some food. So I made for you some creme brulee, Ooh. and I don't, I mean, some people have like um, dairy problems or sugar problems, so I made one regular one, and then I made a dairy-free one. Just... <laughs> Sorry. Are you? Are you like? Yes, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> yes. So creme brulee, you have the custard on the bottom, oh. and then the top is a, a layer of sugar that you oh. melt. And you start with the corners and the sides. Mm -hmm. so oh. you, do you want to try it? Yeah. Oh. So then again, you start on the sides. I kind of fell in love with him a little bit, because I love creme brulee. Are we done? Woo! <laughs> I'm sure you didn't win the competition for that. When you break it, like take the bottom of the spoon uh -huh. and then just smack it. Oh! And now you can get in. This makes me so happy. Cecil, he's gonna, he's breaking songs for you. So. Alright, so uh, I have to look at the lyrics because I haven't memorized it. Hey Vanessa, how is it like in this sweet city? I hail from the state of sunshine and wow, you are so pretty. <laughs> Did you hear the crazy story? I ended up in Vegas, drove five hours. I think I need some coffee. <laughs> Vanessa. I thought it was a little I cheesy and some you. of it didn't really rhyme. <laughs> Vanessa. Let's go on a date or two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie, you seem cool too. <laughs> This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anyone's ever written a song for me. And he's singing about his journey today. Coming to you and meeting you. And then he threw me in the song. Hey. <laughs> so Alex H is going to talk to us about the doomsday algorithm. Is yeah. that right? When I was in statistics class in high school, my professor could, like any day, any year, he could tell you what day of the week it was. So I'm gonna try and do it. It's been a while. I'm not really good at math. It's all in your head. Um, if you want to start with something easy, like your birthday, I could try and tell you what day of the week it was when you were born. Okay. August 6, 1996. Uh, he's Whoa. like, oh, he's getting fancy. <laughs> okay, right, hey, he's, he's giving you a run for your money. Well, I'm trying to do math I'm here. sorry. <laughs> Tuesday. I'm in, I'll take you. Wanna do it? Yeah, March 28th, 1997. Friday. Friday. Oh! No! <laughs> Friday. 
Oh, no. All right, so Zach is going to perform a magic trick. I haven't done magic in a very long time, but I am going to need somebody's help from the audience, and preferably okay. the lady wouldn't mind. All right. Um, so, sleight of hand is all about trying to deceive somebody right in front of their eyes, okay? But as an added bonus, and hopefully to distract the audience a little bit, I'm going to do a shirt of this. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give these parts a quick shuffle so you know I can tamper with them. I was like this, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. And like it made me uncomfortable, but it was also kind of like hot all in one. So I'm gonna ask you to pick one. Okay. And I would have no idea what this part is. Okay. okay. So I want you to remember it and then show it to the audience. I'll turn my back so I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. okay, so everyone has a general idea of what it is, so I want you to put it back on the top. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle it back in the other day. One, two, three, four, and five. We call that good. I want you to hold out your hand like that. Hold pretty tight, but not too tight. Okay. Ready? Is that your card? Yeah. Oh, Brandon is going to try to beat a world record. This is two pounds of yogurt. Um, <laughs> oh my. It's really dense. <laughs> Record's 40 seconds for a pound and a half. This is two pounds, so. Okay. Honestly, I might break the world record because I've tried it at home once, so why wouldn't I do it for everyone like here? There it is. Oh, he's getting it. Oh. Oh, he's like bring Oh in. my gosh, he's doing it. Oh, uh, he loves it. <laughs> Chugging yogurt. Pretty disgusting. Yogurt man! Yogurt man! Woo! He got it in 24.8 seconds. Anyway, can we do? I'm gonna tell my kids about this, man. It wasn't planned. Uh, she just, she just kind of did that. Yeah, Brandon had some yoga on his face, so I just wipe it off a little. All the guys got really jealous. All right, guys, we're gonna pick the MVP of this challenge, and we'll get back to you guys. All right, let's All right. go. Right. How are you feeling? Dude, I don't know. This it is was, pretty hard. It was, it's so hard to, pick someone who stole my heart because everyone brought something completely different to the table and I don't know, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to pick. Well, I know who to choose for MVP because they won my heart. Oh man. <laughs> but little do the guys know is that we're choosing an MVP, the winner of the whole challenge, and then we're choosing someone who stole Nesta's heart, who gets to go on a date with just her. Ooh. I see everybody here has a little bit of talent. The competition has been raised. All these talented guys with muscles and stuff, I think I'm gonna go home. Zach came out with a magic trick and he took off his shirt and I was like, that's smooth. Like, I mean, I don't wanna talk bad on anybody. I think it's an even playing field. Everybody had a good talent, so we're sitting here having a good time. I was like, I'm gonna teach you how to cook, but it's pre-made. <laughs> oh, Whoa, Whoa. Okay. it was pre-made. Creme brulee is a delicacy. You don't just whip it up. Christian's talent, I for sure think it was a little cheesy. Um, I think it was incredible because I cannot make creme brulee. Okay, okay awesome. so from their reactions, who do you think is gonna be? From their they reactions. They were super impressed with the magic trick. Yeah, yeah. only after and it was then, done, though. And then you're silently they were really into that. Yep. And then my great thing, I feel like you guys are more. I was high on that. So I was I think the fact that he knows the twins is almost to my advantage because they haven't really gotten to realize how neat I am yet, and he's old news. So. Uh, so if you guys need anything, I got some answers. Oh, but okay. I, I might be lying. I might have to get your numbers. Yeah, it's competition yeah. still. I might be lying to you, but you never know. Here's the thing, so I've talked to so many guys already, but there's two who I haven't talked to yet, and it's Cecil, Cecil and, and Timothy. Timothy. Cecil is one who wrote a song for her, uh -huh. and, and Tim Tim Timothy mm -hmm. was the dancer, and I love dancers. Yeah, they've been gone for a while. Wait a minute, so oh, no. is, is somebody about to go home right now? Like, wait, oh, they're about to be... I, right oh, now? No, 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 they're, they're picking an MVP. MVP. Oh, here they come, here they come. Whoa! Oh, oh. oh. Alright! Oh, okay. Yeah, so we had some time to discuss. 
I do want to remind you guys that this is a dating show. So two of you are going to be eliminated later tonight. Oh. Oh. But, but there is an MVP and whoever the MVP is doesn't have any chance of getting eliminated. So they're safe. We were very impressed by all of you guys. It was honestly really hard to decide who to pick for the MVP. Uh, but for this talent show was Christian. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Very good. Yes. 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 We were very impressed. You were very prepared. I mean, you brought us creme brulee and it was delicious. Uh, you got me with the dairy-free one. <laughs> So, I'm so yeah. glad I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was great. So congratulations. I'm not going home. I'm safe. I'm excited. This is great. I'm in a good spot. Veronica told me that she liked dancers, so I was like, I got in this bag, and then when she announced it, I was kind of like heartbroken. There's also another winner. Oh, whoa! Yeah, okay. and you don't um, say. this winner is the one who won my heart for the competition oh. or the and throughout the day. Show. I really enjoyed his talent, and that's Timothy. I, yeah. I love dancers, so you won my heart. Little do you guys know that you guys are going to get to have a one-on-one -on -one date tonight. Just oh. you two, and you guys can get to know each other a little bit more. There was a surprise winner, and that was my boy Timothy. I guess I'm happy for him, but it should have been me. Honestly, I find it kind of ridiculous that I didn't win. I'm speechless, like, I don't really even know what to say right now, but I'm excited to go on a date with Vanessa and hopefully everything goes well. <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh! Look! I'm confused. Like, is this our date? Oh! <laughs> I didn't see it at first. <laughs> I was like, it's a well, four. I know. Let's go in. Yep. Oh, look, a laptop. I think they're nervous. Like, he seemed kind of, I don't know, like all giggly and she was all giggly. You know, when they're giggly, that's when they're like nervous. So, how, how did you get into dancing? Oh. When I was young, I watched the movie You Got Served. Mm -hmm. And then that like inspired me to dance. And then, like, watch the movie over and over, like, pause and be like, Oh, I'm gonna try to do that move. And then that's basically what I did. I used to be really competitive. Like I used mm -hmm. to compete in competitions, do performances. No way, that's and then, really cool. I cheered in high school and oh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can do like... <laughs> the Fortnite? Yes. Fortnite? It looked like you were doing the Fortnite. That yeah. one? Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So do you dance at all? I can twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, I felt like we had a little spark there, you know, a little connection, so that's a good sign. And so what are you looking for in the guy? <laughs> I don't know, someone who's just normal. Mm -hmm. You know, someone who lives a normal life and not involved with the Hollywood lifestyle, yeah. you know. I like someone who, who's, who doesn't really like social media. What's your favorite movie? Well, I have two favorite movies, but one is um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I don't know, you've probably never <laughs> seen that. It's okay, it's like a cult classic thing. Mm -hmm. But then I really loved an anime movie called Your Name, and Your it's name? really cool. The guy, he switches bodies yeah, with the girl. with the girl. <laughs> that movie's like one of my favorites too. Me too. The movie's so good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so much tea. So, the movie I picked for them to watch is Your Name, and I just learned that it's a his favorite anime movie too, and it's her favorite. This is kind of epic. Well, let's, Watch this movie and let's see what my sister picked for us to watch. <gasps> Wait, it's your... <laughs> really? It's your name. Does she know that's your favorite movie? Yeah, it's actually my wallpaper on my phone. A good guy is like when they like, it's an even conversation. Like they ask you questions and you ask them questions. And it seems like that's, what hap that's what's happening so far. Wow, I really chose the right person for that. Because we, well, we also talked about anime and just like uh, life and like his past relationship and just like his view on like LA and people and stuff. And I don't know, he was really, really sweet. I'm sure we have a lot more in common, but you know, I'll find that out 
on other dates because I'm about to try to win as much MVPs as possible. No, it definitely went very well. I, I think he's a good candidate. Candidate. Date. Candidate. You can say Is that one. a pun? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to figure out who we think should be eliminated and we're gonna cry and feel bad about it, but we'll see you guys at elimination time. Everyone seems pretty nervous. Yeah, being in this elimination room really puts it into perspective that this is a speed dating show and it happens like that. And I hope I made an impression. There's no way, I'm safe. So unfortunately, it is time for the elimination process. We're so sad to see two of you guys go, but it's been such a fun day getting to know you guys. We're going to have three people come down and be in the bottom three. But I will say Christian is safe because he won the MVP for the talent show. Tim is also safe because he had the one-on-one -on -one date. So you guys don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> All right. So the first person down to the piano, Matt. The second person, Alex. Wait, what? Wasabi. Wasabi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you not feeling what I felt? I can't believe she did this to me after all we've been through. I'm her fake ex-boyfriend. The third person is... Veronica, I'm gonna have to volunteer myself as a third person. Unfortunately, I came to LA for acting and I found out earlier today that I have a big gig and they can't have any other days. So I really did come to the show thinking I was ready for love. But right now, I just got to focus on my career, so I'm really sorry. And I really appreciate being here, but this just isn't the time oh for me. Gosh. Sorry. We okay. respect yeah. that. Careers first. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got respect for Jay over here because honestly, like, business move, but I don't know if I could do the same. Like, after meeting Vanessa, I, I wouldn't want to leave. Okay, what a twist. <laughs> okay. The vibe in the room is, like, very tense, tense and things are getting a little... Awkward. Interesting and awkward. <laughs> okay, so your yeah. Jay is unfortunately eliminated. One less down for me. I mean, thank you, Jay, I guess. <laughs> and Alex, it's been fun to have you here too. And oh, I know. you know, hang out. <laughs> One of you guys have to go. And that person who's gonna be eliminated Sorry, is buddy. Alex. What? Sorry, man. Come on! <laughs> what about our history together? I'm... Alex Wasabi, friend zoned? Sorry, man. You don't date your friends often, and I didn't see it, and I was right. I thought we had chemistry. Well, wow. <laughs> I, think, I think we're just good as friends. Eliminating Alex was like a no-brainer. I was like, bye, he has to go, because I know him. I want to give the other boys a chance. You know, he can... Get in line for later on. <laughs> but like, I want to get to know everyone else oh. and have. <laughs> okay. I'm misreading the signal. I thought. <laughs> Why are you trying to kiss me? Like, no, please don't. <laughs> okay, go? you can go. Dude, you cannot just go in for a kiss like that. That made the room awkward. And Bye, Alex. Alex. Yeah, Alex. Oh, was so sad. Oh. It was really great to get to know you. At the end of the day, it's really awesome how Veronica and Vanessa understand just what it means to be a career-oriented type of person. And for them to appreciate and understand that just really means a lot to me. I'm out of here, guys. But words of advice, keep your head in the game. Because I did not think I was going home today. So Matt, that means you are safe and you can rejoin the group on the stairs. Yay! Thank you. Oh my gosh. OK, that was so close. From now, I need to just not be so in the background all the time. I think I need to put myself out there more so she sees me. So I didn't eliminate Matt because I feel like he, I want to give him another chance to, I don't know, break out of his shy shell. Like, I, I know what it's like to be in a position where you don't know anyone and you're in, you feel awkward. And I think everyone deserves like second chances. Hope you guys had a fun first day. You guys need to get a lot of rest because tomorrow is going to be very busy and full of a lot of exciting and fun things. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.
Tomorrow kind of scares me a little bit. I thought I had today in the bag and I was definitely taken down a peg. So I'm gonna bring my A game and see if I can't rise the ladder a little bit. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings. I hopefully we have like some physical activity, like maybe something in teams, that'd be really fun. Now that we have eliminated two guys, comment down below who you think is going to steal Ness's heart in the next episode. Make sure to turn on the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out because I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And give this video a big thumbs up for love. And subscribe to Awesomeness TV. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel too. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet. I'm getting mesmerized by him. I'm really surprised by Christian. Tension's palpable right now. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. And we just won't discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. Well, like, it may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. This is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. If you haven't seen the first episode, you should go watch it by clicking the little eye up there. Check it out. So the guys that are left in the house that are currently trying to fight for Vanessa's heart are... So yesterday I did get in the bottom three, so going in today, I am going to pull Vanessa aside. And I'm a little nervous, but I think it's what I need to do, so hopefully it goes well. I had a one-on-one -on -one date with Vanessa, so I'm feeling pretty great. You know, I really got to know her more deeply than I believe the other guys. I'm ready to pop off my shirt. As you see, I came prepared and dive in. I'm gonna get to know her on a more like intimate level, I would say, and try and like bring those things up in conversation. She's awesome, like I love talking to her. She's definitely someone that I click with. It's one thing to talk to a girl one-on-one, -on -one, but it's another thing to try to always fight for attention. Just not me. I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love. Well, I just woke up and I think I'm gonna surprise everyone with a little bit of French toast just to start the day off right. Are you making anything I, other I, than French toast? Uh, no, just French toast. I don't want French toast, though. I'd like to put in an order for eggs benedict or maybe a bagel with lox. Um, call me tomorrow. And I'll <laughs> <see what laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we go downstairs and all the boys are just standing there having fun and they're talking with each other. And then all of a sudden, Christian pulls out stuff to make French toast. What are oh you doing? <laughs> what are you making? I am making French toast. <gasps> French toast? Yeah. Can you make cinnamon French toast? Yes, I like cinnamon. There's not really cinnamon in here. Really? Wow. Wait, yeah. what is this? He was just making French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, honestly. He had already taken all the supplies, the milk, the eggs, everything. Just trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, man. It's been two times now. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. My mom. What are you doing? Yeah. Bro, he puts his milk for his cereal. Why? Why? Look at this. <laughs> Who now you're gonna get like no cereal in there. <laughs> it's just all the milk. You drink the milk at the end? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh. Cecil putting the milk before cereal was about the weirdest thing I've seen this year. Uh, I had to rag on him a little bit about that. Uh, you know, it's soggy cereal is good. Uh, we understand that a bunch of guys in the same house, there's obviously going to be like a little bit of like picking on and teasing. and teasing. But like for us, when we're looking for guys, like you know, they gotta be nice. Yeah. And you know, if it's going to be teasing, it's got to be light teasing. And so I feel like there's a little bit of crossing the line. Look at this. Sure. I'll mix. Yeah, Look what I'm doing. And then, oh wow, sausage. Dip it, get like both sides of it. And then just throw it on the pan. And just throw it on there? Mm -hmm. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. This like over the top obnoxious food thing he's doing, it's, it's ridiculous and he's, honestly I hope he leaves tonight. I really do. You flip it and Oops. I will start cleaning. Oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> That's okay. I messed it up. Help. Here, I'm coming, I'm coming. You didn't mess up, what are you yes. talking about? Sorry. That looked perfect. I was like, do you want to flip the other one? Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think Christian's the guy who's really trying a little too hard. Look at that. That's perfect. It's a dairy free version. Oh, dairy free one. And he said he's got a dairy free recipe too, so. Wow. Dairy free. 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Christian has a very good way of working himself in with Veronica and Vanessa, and I feel like a lot of the other guys are oblivious to what's going on, so I just felt the need that I gotta step in, I gotta break this up, at least like have my presence there, because if he's the only one around Vanessa, then that's obviously, she's gonna get to know him more than anyone else. So Matt steps up to the plate and starts cooking with us, and I mean, he's definitely here to step up the game and make his presence known. Is it good? This is amazing! So the guys are sitting over at the little kitchen table and they're like not even paying attention to us. And you know, it's not even even the group date yet, but like you gotta get as much time as you can with us, you know? Yeah. So there were some missed opportunities there. They were kind of being loud too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a simple cooker too. Okay. What we're playing is a game called Car Talk. It's definitely fun. I mean, everyone's playing it. Everyone's loving it. Honestly, the guys had a lot of fun with him cooking and doing his thing. We played cards. We learned this new game. Um, I think we should try and play that, that game with Vanessa later. I think she'll like that a lot more than French Toast. I just love when guys teach me how to do things that they love and they're passionate about and it's super cute and what was really sweet was that Christian not only made French toast for us but made French toast for the guys and everyone else and I don't know I just like a caring soul and I think that really impresses me and that says a lot about Christian. I'm not gonna eat it but it's fine. Why it's so good. Ooh. I know, now you want to eat it, right? So, right. You should try it, it's good. Thank you. No, I kinda, I kinda You're missing out. It's really good. Thank you, Christian. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I think I'm playing my cards right with this whole cooking thing, because I gotta share like a sweet little moment with Vanessa. Okay, boys, now that breakfast is over, come over here so we can talk about today's challenge. Come on, come on. So thank you, Christian, for the breakfast. You're it was welcome. really good. I hope you guys had some food and got something in you for today because we got some fun stuff that we're going to be doing. Right. Today, the team group day challenge is we're actually going to have a pool party. I guess. Yeah. Good looks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> So I think a pool party is perfect for today because I feel like yesterday everyone was a little bit nervous. Hopefully this is a more relaxing thing and all the nerves will calm down. Yeah, and hopefully I get to talk to more people like chilling at the pool and stuff. So I think it, that'll be fun. Along with the pool party, there is going to be a challenge to get the MVP win. So that challenge is actually a compatibility test. You made a compatibility test a while back and I we did. are going to make the guys take it. Well, I created it a while ago for a fun live stream that we were doing with our fans and 2,000 people took my compatibility test and no one got 100% on it. Wow. We have to get 100%? You don't let me No! No! If you get 100%, I'll leave, you win. So whoever gets closest could possibly be the MVP for today's challenge. So I hope you guys are ready for a pool day. Hope you brought your swim trunks and stuff, and let's get to it. Cool. Let's do some push-ups. That's actually so funny. Yeah, let's do some push-ups. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, come on. I don't know who said it, a push-up contest. I could go all day. You guys got nothing on me. I am so stoked for this pool party. I've been dying to jump in the pool. It is sweltering out here. Honestly, Vanessa looks like 10 times more gorgeous than I think she did yesterday. Can I call you, can I call you Ariel from now on? Sure, do I look like Ariel? No, it's because we mermaid for each other. <laughs> wow. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna go as well. I'm ready to have fun. I like going in the pool and 
eventually I'll take my shirt off, but I'm not the type to be like shirtless all the time or like wearing tank tops. I'm like conservative, kind of. So we're all just kind of chilling with our feet in the hot tub and then Matt comes up to me and pulls me aside and he's very sweet and stuff, but I don't know, it was just kind of like awkward. And then I was left there alone. So being in the bottom of three, I pulled Vanessa aside today and just kind of got to sit down and talk with her about it. It's going really good, a little awkward, but I think it's going great. We have a lot in common so far, so hopefully she sees that. I'm seeing it. Honestly, I think Matt is actually gonna last a lot longer than uh, most of us think here. Maybe ask her about animals. Animals? Oh, all right, all we right. talked about cats yesterday. You know that the guys are all asking me for answers? No way. Yeah, she makes it very tricky. Ooh, my strategy. Like answer, really anything, anything that I enjoy, I'm gonna put down, and if it doesn't work out, then it'll show that we're not compatible. You know. I talked to Vanessa a little bit yesterday, so I think that I definitely will get some of these questions right. I'm kind of excited to see uh, how much we we match with each other. It's Friday night. Where would you take me on a date? Personally, I wouldn't go out dancing, but I have talked to her, so I know that she likes dancing. Um, so it's definitely that one. How was the test? What are you doing? Wait, I'm not, I can't ask you in front of him, but... Wait, ask me. Brandon is done with the compatibility test and he's like freaking out. He's asking me all these questions and here's the thing, Brandon comes in super confident. He came in confident yesterday and today and I, this is the first time I'm seeing him like worry. Um, I'm sad. What do you do to cheer me up? Hug me and be there for me. Say everything will be okay and then hit the whoa, no chance. Send me good memes, surprise me by bringing me my favorite candy. Probably send me good memes. I think making a girl laugh is really important, especially when she's feeling sad. Even when she's not, I think making a girl laugh is like one of the most important qualities you can have in being in a relationship. It's movie night. What movie? Star Wars, obviously. Uh, I hand you the Oscorp. What do you play? Bugs Bunny. No, Bad Bunny. She likes to dance, so maybe Bad Bunny. So the guys are taking my compatibility test and they're coming out like stressed out. They're like going, oh man, and oh, I don't know. I don't even remember the questions I put on it. I don't even remember the answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that quiz. Yeah. Oh my God, well, here's everyone's the traumatized. I didn't know they were gonna know, take yeah. my quiz. I'm sure you guys, I would have changed it for you guys. Oh my god. His uh, eyes. You see yeah. when he came Are in, he's okay, like, bro? I mean, I think I crushed it, but like, oh, okay. just like okay. mentally prepare, like it's a lot. So Cecil finally is talking to me today. We're just casually talking and I'm really enjoying this. I, I'm really surprised that Cecil has stepped up his game. Yeah, it's like, uh, so I think that's the husky side, that's the corgi side. <laughs> just play in half, there's a line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about animals, and she's talking about how she has a dog. I said, oh, I have a dog. She's like, oh, I want to see some pictures. So I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So got my phone. Oh, his dog is so cute. I love husky mixes. Next question. You make me mad. How do I fix it? First off, I'm never going to make you mad. Don't even play. But on the off chance that that does happen, leave me alone, horrible option. Agree to disagree, also atrocious. Apologize and empathize, maybe. And you get mad too, oh man. I'm a little volatile when it gets to that high stake level, but I think apologize and empathize is definitely the move. You wanna be welcoming and you wanna understand their opinion, so it's definitely something to take into consideration. It's a cold day and craving Starbucks, what do you get me? Everyone kept talking about this question. There's a super extra one that I want to choose just because it's so extra, but I feel like she's trying to trick me because that's the only one that's like that. But she may be thinking I'm thinking that and choose the answer, but there's two mochas. So I'm gonna go with the first mocha. <coughs> We run into my ex-boyfriend in public. What do you do? Ignore him. Throw some hands, run away, be polite. We're gonna go with be polite. Good luck on that test. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that bad? Dude, that, that took that you a minute. I mean, minute. it's not bad, but it's kind of... Yeah, I was thinking forever. I was expecting, like, out and back, but... Uh, no, they, it's tough. 
I'm worried. Yeah, I'm it's so worried. Tough. Hello, boys. I called for a pool day, and no one's getting in the pool. So am I gonna have to like step up to the plate and get in the pool? Probably. <laughs> Oh, when I said it's a tricky test, like you have to like be paying attention. Because I was answering it, like I was honestly answering it how I would answer it, but then I had to think about her. Yeah. And I kind of did that on like halfway through, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. So everyone else was in the pool and Vanessa hadn't gotten in yet. So I pulled her aside for a second and gave her a little chat. And honestly, I was just trying to feel the vibe gauge the situation a little bit, see if she was actually into me or not. Do you live with your family still? I do. Cool, I'm I do too. Parents like me, I don't know about kids my age, but I'm all about the parents, right? Parents is where it's at. I get that yeah. in, Win the you know? parents. Win the parents. After our little one-on-one, -on -one, I'm feeling a little bit. I'm a little more confident. Look at you on this one. Are you going to help? Oh, look who it is. Christian. So we decided to play Marco Polo in the pool, and what a disaster. All right, are we ready? Do I just start? All right, Marco. <laughs> Marco. Guys, look oh, out. Wait, no, you have sunglasses on. Bro, I'm so glad you Hello. You didn't get me. I'm going to open your eyes. And it is this so I'm swimming in the deep end and I'm trying not to get tagged, but I'm so short, I can't touch the ground. So I'm basically like doggy paddling and I'm trying like trying to not, not drown or get my hair wet. So I grabbed onto Alex's arm and like he helped me. It was like really sweet. Ooh, arm touching. <laughs> Marco? No, I say polo. Marco. Polo. 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 I'm always into like different things and I just saw a Rubik's Cube and then I used to like try to speed cube and then usually I would do 30 to 40 seconds solve but now I'm kind of rusty so I do like under a minute right now but yeah I just like doing random interesting stuff that most people can't do. Time's almost up. Everyone took the test. It's you're gonna have to make a decision about who's won your heart today, so you can go on your one-on-one -on -one date, which I'm really excited for. I'm going on the one-on-one -on -one date today. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna be the one-on-one -on -one date today. I'm excited to know who's the MVP of my compatibility test. Oh, cause that could change the outcome of the one who stole your heart. heart. Or can the MVP be the one who stole my heart? <gasps> I think they can. All right, you guys, so my sister has the test results of my compatibility test. I'm very nervous because a lot of you guys were like, that we saw it. So I'm very intrigued. Here are the results. I'll list third, second, and then first, and then the person who got last. Right. I'm out. Okay, third place. I mean, Brandon. Third place is Cecil. Oh, oh boy. Look at you. Oh. Um, he got a 30 out of 100. Hey! Yeah, boy! Is that good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, second place is another 30 out of 100. Alex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at you. Well done, brother. First place is that. Christian. Whoa. Oh. 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 Twice? Christian won MVP again, which I was very surprised, but also not surprised. I thought I might've won and I was getting a little hype. And then when she said I got second, I was a little bummed. And then of course, Christian gets first and gets MVP again. I was kind of bummed, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to win that one. And then last place <laughs> is Brandon. Oh, With a zero out of a hundred. Wait, you got zero? <laughs> I know I got a zero on the uh, on the test. I still think that I'm gonna get the one-on-one -on -one date. Uh, she she definitely sees something different in me. So the MVP for this challenge is kind of obvious. It's Christian again. And since you're the MVP, um, you've won my heart this time. Aww. And not only that, you made us breakfast and everything, so we're gonna go on the one-on-one -on -one date together. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yes! And I get a date! Okay, I'm excited now. I'm super pumped about this. 
So Christian won MVP, and I also chose him to be the guy who won my heart because he made everyone breakfast. And I don't know, he was just being really sweet today. Like yesterday, I kind of saw him as like a little goofy, but then today, like he was just, I don't know, his goofiness kind of rubbed on me and like, why not? Let's go on a one-on-one -on -one date with him. For the one-on-one -on -one date, I decided to pick a cat cafe for Vanessa and Christian because Nessa loves cats and I think a cat cafe is a perfect place to bond with someone and get to pet some cats. But I'll be watching the date and see how it's going. A cat cafe? Oh my god. <laughs> This is like the best date ever. It's at a cat cafe. I love cuties. I love cats. Look at those eyes. It's okay. Oh my gosh, there's literally cats everywhere you look. Hello, kitty. Oh, oh you can so relax. <laughs> this is literally the best thing ever. Do you have any cats? I had a cat. I had. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are so you okay? scared. She is glowing right now. There's cats everywhere. She's so cute. She's like, kitty, come here, kitty. I'm like, I got the best date. I'm sure of it. I was so impressed by your French toast <laughs> this morning. Thank you. This place is so cute. I know. This is like the best date ever. <laughs> <laughs> kitty. Are you annoyed at me? I let you down. Do you have a cat? Too? I do. Mm -hmm. His name is Corky. I'm like a bit more nervous one on one than in a crowd of people. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm feeling good and I'm really happy that I get to spend some one on one time with her. And it's going amazing. Look, Nessa's so happy. He looks happy too. Who would have known? What do you guys think about the date situation that's going on? It's bullshit. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's confident about it. No. Why? It's like, because he's like, oh, like no one's gonna like. It's just gonna be me and Vanessa. Like he's like, my personality is so different when I'm around a lot of people. He's like, when it's just us one on one, it's so. Without Brandon, like, he's so bad different. at being social with a girl. Then like, why is he on a date show? Like, yeah, real talk. Cause like that's what we're all after. Brandon, how do you uh, feel about? Quiz after the quiz thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask him, bro. Because now, because I'm, like, right? I'm, like, hey, so I'm like, Brandon's up there. He's gonna be. He's number two, something in like that. You know, I was like, he's he's right up there. And no the quiz, shot. I was like, uh, no <laughs> shot. What's it like being like an influencer? when you like privacy? Like, how do you separate the two? Um, I don't know, it's really hard to, you know, keep it private and you have to just mm -hmm. figure out what you want to keep private and keep yeah. public and the things you do want to keep private, you have to work really hard to keep it private. That makes sense. Yeah. My my brother, um, he has he has kind of the same thing where he has to separate like the private life and the public life. Oh, and really? Like, yeah. Wait, what, That's what does your brother do? He, <laughs> he's in a band. What kind of band? Um, they're called Why Don't We? And they do like pop music and stuff. No way. Wait. No way. Wait, what? No way. Which was your brother? Da Daniel? Da <laughs> no. I know Daniel. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's brother. That's your brother? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it makes sense because you guys yep. kind of look similar. Look similar, have the same, same last, last name. name. <laughs> I just found out his brother is Daniel from Why Don't We? And I'm kind of low-key freaking out because like, one, what a small world. I've hung out with him before at like my friend's houses and parties and stuff. Wait, so did you, have you gone to like any parties and stuff with him? Sometimes. I'm wondering I, if we've ever been at the same party before. Maybe. I'm feeling really good right now. Like we're both laughing, we're having a good time. Like she's lighting up, she's smiling a lot. We have a lot in common actually, which is great. How do you think the guys feel about you scoring the highest and like winning MVP yesterday and today? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Me too. Just, just because I like, <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault. I did good on the compatibility <laughs> test and that we're super compatible. That's just, right. That just happened to have happened. What do you think your sister feels about me so far? Oh, I think do, she do likes think, it. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was the food. That's what won her over. It was the food over. one and she convinced me to make you MVP yesterday. Did she really? Yeah. Yeah, I do like Christian. I think he's... He's up there. He's definitely going to make it far. Well, in my book, 
He got, the way he got to my heart was through his food. <laughs> Yo, so Timmy, how do you feel, dude? You were uh, on the date yesterday, but now you got snubbed. You know, the only reason why he's going on a date with her is because he got MVP twice, and she felt bad for him. That's what so I mean, think, too. There's no way that she wanted to actually go on a date with him. That's what I think, you know, too. Like, Dude, hopefully I'm not out today. God yeah, damn. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Scared, I got the second lowest score. That looks so bad. Dude. And I got on a date with her, and I got the second lowest. So that looks really <laughs> bad for me. Well, I was talking to Alex yesterday uh -huh. before he left. Uh-huh. But he said, he said because he knew you that you were like a very... Um, positive person mm -hmm. and you like positivity mm -hmm. and I do too so I mm -hmm. just what like why why so positive and like what do you do to make things more positive oh, and stuff like that? that's actually a really good question I don't know it kind of can get deep with mm -hmm. it I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love so I I want to get a little deeper in this date and really really learn about her and learn like what, what makes her tick and what she wants in a relationship and what she wants out of life and stuff like that. Good, good deep, okay. I like that, come on. Well, I don't know, I guess I grew up like my, I grew up in a religious home. Me too. And, oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. With like my family and my sister, everyone just taught me to just think more positively mm -hmm. rather than negatively. This day is going so well right now. We're playing with kitties and cuddling with them. And we're just talking about life. It's not even about like things I like. It's just about like deep stuff, you know? Like family, our, how we grew up and we're really bonding. Grew up religiously. Mm -hmm. Is that still yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, it's still something. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not as much as it used to be, but it, it still is like um, my dad was like a pastor and stuff when I grew no up. No way. Yeah. My dad was a pastor too. Really? My yep. dad was a youth pastor. Really? Not an, my like, you know, my dad like, was like the he started a church where really? I grew up. Really? So you're a PK. I am a PK. I'm a PK hey, too. PK. Yep. How is PK? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this date is going way better than I thought it would. It's kind of getting deep. Like they're talking about our past and how we were like, you know, PK kids and stuff, and, which Ness and I don't really ever talk about. He's one too. You know, sometimes like they say opposites attract, but also it's cool that they both have that in common, especially with their childhood. Well, okay, maybe we should probably go back to see yeah, okay. the guys and go back, back to the to house. The, back to the guys. <laughs> I'm don't be scared. Okay, I'm I got not, your bag. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. I gotta have a good day with you. So yeah. that's, that's not something to be too scared. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Go. We're good here. I really enjoyed this date. We had so much in common, and he's really sweet. Comes from a sweet family. I'm really impressed with Christian. I am too, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like you guys had a lot in common and he's very family oriented, which sticks out a lot. I love that he's family oriented because we're family oriented. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of falling for her right now. Christian keeps winning these MVPs and now he went on a date and comes back holding hands with Vanessa. How y'all doing? Pretty good on yourself. <laughs> Tension's palpable right now. So how was it? Good, good. Nice. Where'd you guys go? Yeah. We went to a cat cafe. Oh, oh really? As I'm walking in and I'm holding Christian's hands, I see the guys' faces and the looks on their faces and they're kind of like this. And Christian's also sweet for holding my hand. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, what did you get? Iced coffee. I asked for a mocha. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what. <laughs> but they didn't have a mocha there, so I just got iced coffee. Oh, sorry. Okay. So you wanted the iced mocha? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted a mocha. Oh. So, it Look at their seat, oh, bro. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yeah. Tim, what's up, bro? And now Tim with the coffee, after them holding hands, this is literally getting ridiculous. We had this idea together about getting coffee for Vanessa and you just went behind my back and used it. 
You know, I wanted to do that, right? I was yeah. going over there, and then you sort of yeah. ordered right yeah, before. Yeah, you were, you were too late. <laughs> you were too late, bro. But we bro. talked about it. I thought, you know. You know. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, I told Cecil to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. Me and Cecil are cool, but at the end of the day, it's a competition. Every man for himself. And we just won't it's discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it on. may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point. There's Don't... a competition at the end of the day? There's yeah. there's something. Yeah. Apparently French not <laughs> friendship, but you know. <laughs> Cecil stepping up right now? Like I I just got back to the house. I had a great time, but now like stuff's going down. Hi guys, how are you feeling? Yeah. 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 Alright, well, you guys got 30 minutes before elimination, so you guys can get ready, relax, do whatever, and we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Great. Yeah. See you it's time for the hardest part of the day, the elimination process and who we're going to eliminate. Today we're going to only eliminate one guy. It was super fun hanging out with all the guys today and uh, I'm struggling with who I need to put in the bottom three, but I feel like I have an idea. Sometimes things are awkward with certain people. Some people didn't do well on my compatibility test. <laughs> Yikes. So... We'll see. Hello, everyone. Now it's time for the elimination process. It is so unfortunate to see one of you guys go tonight. We are very sad. This is very hard for us. Yeah, but I, before we do the elimination process, I just want to thank all of you for taking time. After yesterday, I'm still freaking out standing here. It's been super fun so far, so thank you, you guys. Also, Christian, you are safe from elimination because you got MVP and you stole my heart. So, yeah, you're good. <laughs> so now it's time to pick the bottom three oh. for the chopping block. This was, guys, this was really hard to come to, so to come to this decision. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a dating show. We have to eliminate someone, so. So the first guy in the bottom three is Zach. <laughs> my heart is pounding out of my chest, but real talk, I'm kind of not surprised. The second guy is Matt. Again? Really? And then the third guy is Brandon. That's like my biggest competition right there, I feel. My heart just dropped. I, I really don't... I didn't think this would happen. Um, I'm honestly scared for myself right now. It makes me sad to put him down there, but I think an obvious one we have to put down there is Brandon because he got zero on my compatibility test. Yeah. He didn't even get one answer right. I mean, I know it was hard, but like, did he even try? It's been really nice getting to know all of you guys. It was a really hard decision to come to, so. The first person who is safe is Zach. Yes! Oh, mama, all right. And unfortunately, the person who is not a match for me and is going home is Matt. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You are very sweet and you're very fun to hang out with. But I just wasn't really feeling it, so. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being yeah. here. I'm really sad to see Matt go because he's really, really sweet, but I just wasn't feeling a connection there. I really see us being friends. It's her preference, her personality. I guess we just didn't mesh well together, but whoever wins this competition is going to be a really lucky guy, and I hope she finds what she's looking for. So, Brandon, that means you are safe. You can go back up with the guys. I'm safe, they kept me in it. I knew it would happen. Uh, even though I got a zero, it doesn't mean anything because Brandon's still here. All right, you guys, today was super fun, but hope you guys get lots of rest tonight. You're gonna need it because tomorrow is a busy day. Make sure you wear something you can be active in. Oh. Yeah. 
All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm pretty confident I could run faster than all these guys, jump faster. I'm pretty athletic. We said goodbye to all the guys and Brandon pulled me up to the roof to talk to me. What? About what? This stuff? Like what? Give me the tea. I didn't know this. How was your, your kitten experience today? How did great. you how did you not bring me to the place with Cats. You like cats? I have four. You have four I have four, four at cats? home and right now I have three. How are you feeling about Brandon then? I don't know. I feel like no one likes Brandon, but I kind of I kind of dig him. I think he's really sweet. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet and he'll like touch my leg and like, I don't know. I'm getting mesmerized by him. What's your actual favorite dessert? My actual like favorite, favorite dessert? dessert yeah. Well, I love Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, see that's lit because <laughs> because I saw that and I was gonna put it because I f***ing like love those. What's your favorite flavor? I only go when I get the hot just dozen glaze. That's same. it. Just the same. The original yeah, is dude. so good. I actually have a video of me eating half the box in 30 seconds. <laughs> what were you expecting me to say? I'm not getting the answers that I want What today. did you want to hear, Ronnie? No, I want to hear no. <laughs> Dude, what is with Brandon? I don't know if he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something this morning, but he's just going after all the boys and I feel kind of protective of them at this point. That's an unfair competition right there. But as soon as Friday comes out, it's not <laughs> I want you guys to help me find my perfect match, so comment down below who you think is best for me. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up and don't miss an episode, so click the bell notification to get notified when there is a new episode. Also, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. This is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. Before you watch this episode, make sure to watch the previous episodes if you haven't seen them yet. We are down to the final six guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about my decisions so far. It's really hard for me to eliminate people because everyone has been so nice and super kind. And I'm nervous for today, but I'm also excited to see how the boys react. So I told the boys that for today, they need to be prepared to do something physical. So this is definitely their day. Just woke up in the house, another beautiful day in Los Angeles. I decided to shave this morning. I don't really know why, I'm kind of regretting it. And my contacts got scratched last night, so now I gotta wear these glasses. And don't really like my glasses, so we'll see how that goes. May hopefully Vanessa does though. Me and the guys just kind of like chill around the house before the girls actually get here, uh, after we wake up. You know? okay. yeah. Guys, he's doing all the MVP. I don't think that. Not today, not today. Okay, take, <laughs> take it from me, boys. Who ate all the chocolate clip bars? I ate the peanut butter one, it's not chocolate. Damn, I didn't eat a single pinch of chocolate one. Oh, oh really? So bad. Today I definitely think that I'm gonna cause a little bit of drama. <laughs> Yo, how much do I have to pay you to chug that whole bottle of maple syrup? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> straight up, that's how much money pay I'll try it. That is You'll do it? Oh, I'll do it. You'll do it? No, you, no, you won't. You I'll try it. I'll try the entire thing of maple syrup. Bro, I'll try it. Straight up. Three? three? No. You know how dense that's gonna be? Yeah. You're gonna start, you're gonna start choking on it. I will give Cecil twenty dollars if he chugs. Why does Cecil have to do it between y'all two? No, leave him out of this. What is with Brandon? I don't know if he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something this morning, but he's just going after all the boys, and I feel kind of protective of them at this point. Five bucks. I'm not gonna do it for five bucks. I'll only give you five if you can clear up to like the label. I'll give you five too. Oh. What? Ten bucks. Ten? Yeah, I got ten okay. dollars. Who else is in on this? Okay. I'm gonna make Kristen eat this entire bottle of syrup, and I could care less if he feels like crap today because that's what I want to happen. All right. Just a little taste. Oh. You're actually. No, no, look this way, Poppy. Come on. I'm, I'm doing it over a sink. You challenge me, I'm gonna do it. Like, let's do it. If you stop, it's done. You can only stop when you get to like the five and then the 10 and whatever, okay? I like Brandon's, I don't know if it was his intent, but you know, weaken the competition, you know, make them do challenges to make them not feel good later on in the day. I really like that, you know, so I kind of like went along with that. This benefits me, so you know, might as well encourage it. God, I can't wait for that. I hope you go outside. <laughs> no, you are hate yourself. I legitimately don't like syrup, so I might throw up right now. <laughs> you but I'm crazy. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god.
Let's go, baby. Look at the determination. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no. This is disgusting. Oh my wow. god. Wow. That's it's dense. dense. That's and dense and sort of. like thick, dude. That's not bad. Hang up. A little bit. Where can you wrestle? Are you gonna actually do oh, it? Us. Are you gonna actually do it or are you gonna make other people do it? No, I'll yeah, right? I'll wrestle. Okay. Alex recently has been getting like a little bit picky with me. He kind of like says a lot more stuff uh, than at first and I'm honestly kind of getting annoyed at this point. I would have actually wrestled him and put him on the ground if he would have kept doing what he was doing. Yeah, when you get a bunch of guys living in a house together, we're probably gonna do some stupid stuff. Good morning, Starshine. Uh, yeah, honestly, I needed to get my beauty sleep. These boys are real lookers out here, and I gotta keep up. Oh, I don't swear at all. I had to get another couple hours. Are of you kidding me right now? <laughs> uh, Brandon over here, he's Mr. Instigator. He uh, had me chug some syrup earlier. Is, is, I only got like a quarter way into the bottle. Oh my god, dude. I'm glad I missed the hazing. I didn't realize we were in a frat. It's ridiculous. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey. 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 Why don't you guys take a seat over here so we can talk about the challenge for today. All right. So for today's challenge, I told you all to get some rest yesterday. So I hope you guys got a lot of rest. We are going to be doing something super fun today. We are going to be doing volleyball. Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why are we playing volleyball? That's like my least favorite sport because it hurts my arm. Exactly. No. The reason why I picked it is because I know you don't like it and the challenge is to see which guy notices that you're not having a good time. And I got a little surprise there when we get at the court. So I thought it'd be a great idea to bring my best friend, Aaron Burris, to meet the guys because I want to see the dynamic between them two versus how they react with me and plus it's another judge. So Aaron's always been good at giving me advice about boys. Oh. Let's get Are going. Are you guys playing or no? Well, someone might be playing. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're playing volleyball. Lucky for me, no stranger to the sand. I'm pretty much a pro at spike ball, so hopefully it translates over. I played volleyball like every church event. I played volleyball co-ed in college. Like, I'm ready for some volleyball. Bump, set, spike, let's go. So this is Aaron, he's gonna help me see little things that a girl doesn't see when it comes to guys mm -hmm. and like bros. I have a great judge of character when it comes to guys, but honestly, I'm pretty sure Alex is gonna win. You mean your brother? Yeah, he, he's my not, brother. He's not in the show anymore. He was here. We kicked him off the first day. See the guys at the volleyball court, and Aaron is walking with us. I don't think they know what's happening. <laughs> hey guys! Hello! Come here! Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello! Come here! Huddle around! So, I said I had a surprise for you guys at the volleyball court. I want to introduce you guys to my best friend, Aaron. What's up? Hey, Aaron. Hey, guys. And if you're gonna be dating my sister, you gotta make sure you're friends with our friend group, and he's part of our friend group. Yeah, you're like basically dating me too. Because oh, I'm there all the time, so. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. So let's play volleyball, yeah? So Aaron's gonna start you off with some drills. Yeah, I gotta see what you guys are capable of here. Yeah, as soon as Aaron walked up, we all knew that he was related to Alex Wasabi somehow. First I was like, wait, who's that guy walking with the twins? Thought it was more competition, but looks like we're safe. All right, boys, first up, a little bit of passing drills. You ready? Yes, Okay, all right, ready? Boom. Okay. <laughs> These guys are pretty good. We're gonna have them run some drills. We're gonna get to know these guys, we're gonna know them to their core and find out if they're really a good match for your sister. All right, now that we got the passing out of the way, we're gonna be doing a little bit of blocking drill. Come over here, just jump, over, jump, and continue that. Okay, go, boom. There we go, oh, he's got hops. Okay, let's move in, next one, next one. I got you, I got you. 
Christian knows how to play volleyball, the only one. Classic. <laughs> Home fence. <laughs> I am really bad at volleyball. All right, guys, that was, uh, that was terrible. Thank you. Horrible. Oh, I'm joking, yeah, you guys did a good me. job. Hey. Let's go ahead and take a break, get some water, and then the real fun will begin. All right, sounds good. So Aaron is walking through drills with the boys. They're all keeping up. Aaron's a good sport. He's very nice to them, so he's definitely making them feel a little bit more comfortable. What do you guys think of Nessa so far? Oh, really you guys like are quite her. quick. <laughs> I really I mean, like her. I think she's I mean, really sweet. Yeah. Cool. Okay, all right. Well, okay, one word, favorite thing about her, go. From you, all the way over. Dimples. Dimples? Definitely smile. Okay. Eyes. Freckles. For positivity. Oh, that's wow. cute. Okay. We got oh, some good guys. Dang. All right. All right. Oh, nice. All right. I like I, it. Okay. All right. Her yeah. positivity. I really like that about her. All right. So now it's time to divide into teams. Aaron, you're going to pick the teams. Mm-hmm. First pick, Mr. Alex. Cool. Uh, I don't want to be last. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is because he's tall. Which nope, team is he on? Yeah, he's on my team. team. Yeah. Okay. He's on my team. Yeah, I'm super excited to be on Aaron's team. The drills were really, really funny and it was a good way to get to know him. Yeah. And you can have Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> then we will take Christian. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then you can have Cecil. Yeah, okay. Okay, right. Cecil's over here. Yeah. You don't want to play with them. And the then, yeah, okay. Right. So, wow. <laughs> okay, so you're with them. <laughs> All right. Mr. Chin, you're with us. I'm mad that I'm pick last. How can you pick me last? So this is. <laughs> so, yeah, I felt like it was kind of rigged almost. All the tall people, plus Christian, who knows how to play volleyball, was on one side, and the rest of us were on the other side. The team name? Yeah, the kitty cats. Oh, the kitty. Yeah. All right. On three, kitty cats. Ready? One, two, three. Kitty cats! Meow! Oh my god, I did it too! I did it too! <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Ronnie's hedgehog. Yeah, so we came up with our team name. I asked Veronica what her favorite animal was. She told us it was a hedgehog. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hedgehog! hedgehog. Woo! This is kind of a stacked team. So Ronnie had the greatest idea of doing shirts versus skins. And I feel like everyone's getting out of their comfort zone today because some of the boys are uncomfortable with their shirts off. Some of them are mad they don't have their shirts off. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you guys ready? Vanessa's hair is down and she's playing volleyball. So she's definitely going to need something. So I think I'm going to do something to help her out. Baller move. Respect. All right, Brandon coming in clutch with the hair tie. Perfect, just like that. And then you're gonna pop this up. So for the good of the team, okay. I decided okay. to teach Vanessa a little bit about volleyball. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, boys, let's get it. Hell yeah, <laughs> all right. Okay, you serve, you right, serve, right. you serve. Right here, baby, I'm ready for you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Let's go, baby, show us what you're made of. Oh. Okay, that was it. Was it? Woo! My bad. Oh my bad. Good, dude. Yeah. Aaron. In my defense. <laughs> Wait, are we I don't winning? have a defense. Yeah. You guys are winning. Woo. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Nice. Oh, Woo. Yeah. Go Tim. Right now I'm doing great. You know, I'm hitting the serves in like perfectly. They can't even return it. Back in the game, we're finally gelling as a team. It's going well for us right now. I think we can pull the win. Last serve. Yes, Come on, Aaron. Hands. We'll see you. Okay, okay. Step, step up. Let's go. Oh. Let's get back. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All of a sudden, Team Hedgehog, out of nowhere, last serve. 
game over. Team Hedgehog, baby! Hedgehog, hey, 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 hey. Man, we are so close to winning, and Christian took a little bit of the easy way out, tossed the ball Vanessa's way. They won, so good I job, made us guys. lose. Good job, good job, good job guys. Boom, boom. Good, good, job. good stuff, good well stuff. Good job. Good job. Okay. I talked to her after the game, gave her some water, and yeah, it was like a good vibe today. Like, what did you observe like on Nessa's team? Zach was a really good team, and he was with you. Like he took care of you, so that was really nice of him. To be honest, Brandon wasn't really paying attention to the game, but when it came to trash talking, he did a lot of that. I think that's why we won. You guys were kind of distracted. So Nessa, I think we've got some choices to make. So let's get back to the house. My team won, and I won without my glasses on. I still can't really see. I'm really happy we won. I'm glad I got to be picked first by Aaron. That felt really good. And now we're about to find out who is MVP and who stole Vanessa's heart. As you know, I've been watching the one-on-one -on -one dates from like behind the scenes. Uh -huh. But instead, for today, for the one-on-one -on -one date, it's going to be a double date, and me and you are going to be joining Nessa and the one who wins her heart. <laughs> All, All right. right. How was that? Did you enjoy it? I yeah. think my chances are pretty good for MVP. We are now going to announce the MVP and the person who stole my heart. I'm really scared that Brandon stole Vanessa's heart today. So the MVP is Zach. Oh, I'm just because you were teaching me how to do volleyball and stuff, and you were very sweet. I am really disappointed. I thought I was gonna win MVP. So you're safe from elimination today. All right. <laughs> I think he feels really good about being MVP because coming from the bottom three to MVP, I think it's a good feeling. The person who stole my heart was Brandon. <laughs> Came in clutch with the, the hairband. Brandon gives her a headband and gets a date for the day. Is that all I have to do? Okay. I low-key thought I would've gotten in today, I don't know why. One MVP, but no date. <laughs> All right, well why don't you two go get ready for the date? Now Brandon's going off on the one-on-one, -on -one, and they're gonna get to know each other more, and it makes me a little nervous. Hey everybody. Enjoy, my friend. Vanessa just picked me to go on the double date. Let's go. He just really went out of his way to make me feel comfortable and not super insecure, and it was just super, fun and flirty. That was the challenge of the day, was to help Nessa have more fun, even though this was a miserable thing for her. But I wasn't expecting it to be Brandon to be the one to do that. And we're having sushi. Okay. So sugar and fish is really good. I've never and been. It's one of our <gasps> favorite. I love it. If you're <laughs> you going like to sushi, it. you'll love it. <laughs> I hate raw fish. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. Oh man. I, I think you'll like it. No, you'll yeah. like it. Whatever you don't eat, I'll eat. I got you. All right, we're gonna grab the sushi, so we'll be right back. Okay. So the twins and Aaron are going crazy over this sushi that they said is like the best sushi in LA. Um, I'm not really too happy about it. It's all raw fish, and I don't eat raw fish ever. Since this is like the one-on-one -on -one before elimination or whatever, what do you want to know more like, about me? What kind of music do you like? Um, I love like rap music, like that's what I'm listening to all the time, but like I listen to Screamo uh, when I'm working out. On my quiz! Yes. Anything but Screamo! Yes. So now when we're driving somewhere, I'm gonna play Screamo as loud no. as I can. And you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, wow, I hate being here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have dimples too. Or uh, you do? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Christian has two. <laughs> Figures. Why do you think you're ready for a relationship? Because I've started a new life. Like, I'm out here, um, not a single person in this city knows me, and I love it. Like, I love being here. I've, I've started my new life, and mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone to make it more enjoyable. Okay. That's cool. Dog cafe or an owl cafe? No. What's next? You know? I think it was just a restaurant. 
We watched them pick their favorite restaurant, and Brendan walks in and he's like, dude, I hate this type of food. And everyone. Dude, he'll be like, bro, this place sucks. <laughs> like, it's basically like, this place sucks. What the hell? <laughs> dude, what the hell is this? Too funny. I'm so hungry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna prepare this for you. It's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. This is so good. Mm. Okay. Just try it, just try it, just try it. You can eat like yeah, mix it around. Get some of the, the ponzu sauce on it. Okay, ready? Oh wait, I'm ready. It's fine, it's fine. It's not gonna taste fishy. No pressure. No? Thirteen. No! Is it, is it? no! You don't like it? The salmon? I feel like that's the one everyone likes. I will say I'm very disappointed Brandon didn't like the sushi because it is some of the best sushi. And no. But it's okay, sushi's not for everyone. I that doesn't bother me. Mm. 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 It's okay if you don't like it. You don't have to keep eating it. No. I actually really like that one. This is a pretty nice double date if I do say so myself. I think the date's going well so far. I mean I think Brandon is just such a cool, chill guy, he gets along with everyone, very outgoing. I love this date so far. I will say, talking to Brandon, it feels very casual. Yes. Like, when talking to some of the other guys, it feels like we're still getting to know them. But Brandon was just like, talking like as if we've known him for a while. Ohana means family. I'm done. That's family so good. Family means no one gets left behind. My sushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I can't do impressions. Right. Okay, Minnie yeah, Mouse. Yeah. Minnie Mouse. No, oh, no, now I'm on the spot. If you do Mine's Minnie really Mouse. bad. No, do it. It's okay. Okay, hello. Hello, Pluto. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. good. Yeah. It literally does not sound like Woohoo! Minnie Mouse. She's really into him. No! Because I'm sorry. Like, he won me over a little bit, but I just, I can see what he's doing, and it's working. <laughs> are you guys done eating? Yeah, I think so. Do you guys want to go play some games? Yeah. Vanessa and me definitely are much closer than anyone else. Obviously, I don't know what she's doing on her dates with the other people, but from what I can see, I definitely stand out from the crowd, and I think everyone else can see that too with her and me. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of warm if one of y'all wants to come in. Cecil? Yes, yeah, Cecil, let's go. I wanted to do something, I was just bored. I thought maybe the pool would be fun. Um, the hot tub looked like it was heated up today, so I just wanted the guys to kick it in the pool. Currently, I'm employed, you know? I got I got responsibilities to take care of. I got a job, so I'm down there hustling, I'm putting in work, and while you know, some people can have fun and play games, I, I really gotta put my nose to the grindstone. Or it's never one more. No, it's I'm gonna get it this one. one. Watch. Just say another one. This is so corner to corner, clean. Thank We're all having a good time. We just jumped in the pool. We're throwing around this volleyball. It's great. Oh, right. Let's see your... Wait, where the heck is Timothy right now? I'm watching the anime movie Vanessa recommended me. Sometimes I like just to unwind and just be alone. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I love. Hi. Okay. <laughs> We should do a competition, you two versus us two, since this I is a double practice. date. Yes, that'd be dope. Like, like whatever we accumulate together versus other. Okay, yes. Let's okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Here we go. No, I'm like really bad at this. One. Oh. So we see all these games after we eat, and uh, we definitely decided to go right to the basketball. Me and Aaron looked at it as soon as we walked up there. Uh, and I guess now my competitive side is gonna come out. I think we did good. We did good, no? Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, ready? Are you ready? I'm nervous. Go. Oh my gosh. Aaron and Ronnie are cheaters. They did underhand in basketball. We made it fair by you me. doing it. It's done, timer's done. Yeah. Who is cheating? We've cheated like we basketball. We both did like okay. it's, it? it's only one game. There's still more games to try and beat us at. Right. Five. They're not five. going to, but they can try. I got this double date with not only her sister, but her sister's best friend, and they all hang out all the time. So this is honestly something, it's something great. Okay, we can only do some. When I first met Aaron back at the volleyball court, I didn't really know too much about him, obviously. Um, and uh, now that I'm kind of talking to him and doing this double date, he's actually really cool, and I, I definitely would hang out with the guy again. Oh, that's good. He doesn't even go to the end. Oh! 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 Yes, he's going, Mister. Woo! Well, 
he's been very touchy from the beginning, which I'm a sucker for that. I don't know what it is. I just love that type of thing. It's just like a sign for me to show like, okay, this guy actually is into me and is not afraid to be flirty and out there. And I love that. So I need to know what your intentions are with Miss Nessa Merrill. I won't know what my intentions are until she does. Because I don't know what her intentions are. If you could have it your way, have everything play out exactly how you want, oh, how would you want I to would go? I talk to her constantly after this. Constantly. It's kind of sweet. Yeah? Thank you. He is okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. This is so is this <laughs> Okay, so honestly, what do you think about Brandon? I know you told me I wasn't supposed to like him, but he's a nice guy. Brandon. I'm sorry. Really? What, what, what were you expecting me to say? I'm not getting the answers that I want What did you want to hear, Ronnie? He, no, I want to hear no. He, no. I just don't know. I mean, they're really hitting it off and it's just kind of worrying me because I know she like really loves like the bad guy, I mean, like they, bad boy yeah, vibes. And, they've been doing like, a lot of the, you know, a lot the of lingering touching. and like just the lingering. They were doing a lot of this earlier. Yeah. It was a little, uh... I know. But, I mean, she seems happy. She seems really happy, to be honest. Like, I really like Alex. I think I her and too. Alex would vibe. Okay, I'll go talk to Alex when we get back to the house. Will that make you happy? Yes. Okay. okay let's go. Okay. Do um, really fast. There's like a specific What's up, guys? Hello. They came back from the date, and it probably went well because they're kind of touching each other and vibing with each other. Same poison. It's not a joke. Yeah, like where'd you guys go? It was so good before I left here, and then we went and ate the sushi, and I feel terrible. Really? <laughs> I feel so bad. He can speed eat yogurt and he can eat freaking sushi. I think he's straight up faking it. Oh, oh yeah, we're all here. Right, guys, I'm gonna give you guys 15 more minutes to talk and then we're gonna move into elimination. That quick? Yeah. 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 yeah, pretty much. This elimination is gonna be really difficult for me. All right, so it's been a fun day with you guys, but unfortunately, it is time to eliminate one of you. Zach, you are safe because you won MVP. And Brandon, you're safe as well because of the one-on-one -on -one date. So now I'm going to list the bottom three. And the first guy in the bottom three is... Alex. I'm tensing up a little bit, but I just don't think I'm gonna be sent home tonight. We didn't really talk much. Although I love those glasses on him. Next guy in the bottom three is Cecil. When he found out I was on the team with him, he was like, what? No, now we're really gonna lose. Wow, bottom three. And third guy in the bottom three is Christian. I'm absolutely terrible. I don't even know what I did. Like, what put me in the bottom three? He kept aiming the ball at me, and I was kind of scared. I'm also very dramatic. <laughs> but bottom three. I feel like I saw it coming, and I didn't see Christian coming. So unfortunately, one of you guys has to go home. The first person who is safe is Alex. It feels really good to live another day. I know we connected a lot yesterday, and I know that we have something, and I really don't think I should be sent off right now. Unfortunately, the person who is not a match for me is Cecil. I'm sorry. I'm not surprised at all. Try not to get too emotional about this, but um, definitely tough coming all the way from Tampa come to LA and being cut within the first four days. If Vanessa didn't feel like we were supposed to be together, then and that it is what it is. Guess I'll go back to Tampa and finish my research. Christian, you are safe. You can join the guys back up on the stairs. Oh. Thank you. So congratulations, you guys. You guys are in the top five. Yes. Make sure you get a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow is going to be full of a lot of speed. Mm. 
And on that note, we will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm downstairs kind of just hanging around and I look out the window and I, I see Alex and Aaron talking about what? But you just gotta be a little more aggressive. Right. You get her attention. Okay. When you have her attention, keep it. Keep going. Tall person, tall person. I really want you to win. Thanks, bro. I really do. All right, okay. Man. I'm just kind of trying to keep it low key. Just trying to do like my thing on the side. Get my time with Vanessa, like away from the guys. And that's why, like, I would really like the one-on-one -on -one date because it'd be just like me and her. You remember what I said? Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? No, we were just talking, and I was kind of planning a little surprise for you tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know what they were talking about, but me and Alex kind of had a cute moment where he said he has a surprise for me. Today, obviously, it was a fantastic day, but just because I go over and beyond, I'm gonna show her a little something special tonight. Oh my gosh. Did you do that yourself? Yeah. So the strawberries kind of look funky because I can tell Brandon made them, but they taste absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. The sun is setting and it's literally just like perfect. It's like a movie. It's funny because like this is the uh, like the fastest like fastest way I've ever met someone. It's kind of funny. Me too, it yeah. gets like really fast. I'm actually really nervous because me and Brandon are having like real chemistry. But as soon as Friday comes out, I'll kiss the <laughs> So Brandon's telling me he wants to kiss me, and I don't know what to do. Like, I'm like high key panicking because like I kind of want to, and then I don't know if I should or not because the guys and oh my gosh, this is very this is stressful. When he got out of the cart, I was like, I'm I'm out. See ya. I'm done. <laughs> No clue. That is like the best gift ever. <gasps> so Brandon just randomly comes into the room and is like being Brandon and then slams the door. Where are you going? Excuse me, where am I going? I'm walking away. Why? I don't know how much I'm going to do this. Today has been filled with a lot of tea. Comment down below who you think Nessa is going to end up falling in love with now. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to us. Thanks, Thanks to Aaron for being on the show. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. So we are down to the final five guys who are fighting to win my heart. If you haven't seen the other episodes before this episode, you have to go check it out. All the links will be in the description below. So yesterday I had an amazing day with Brandon. He definitely was the one who won my heart. There's a sound bite of a certain someone saying something to you. Here is a flashback. So as soon as Friday comes, I will kiss the <laughs> How do you feel about that, Nessa? <laughs> I don't know. Do you like it? Do you no. not like it? I don't know. You, don't look at me like you that. You like that? No, I don't know. I was very confused because, well, the cameras weren't rolling, but sound was still rolling. And if you would have saw my reaction, he literally was like, he said that, and then just walked off. And my face was just like this. I don't know how to react to that. Brandon's a bad boy. I need to talk to some of the other guys, and so I'm excited to see what they say. Especially, I'm excited to see what Alex is gonna do, because he told me he has a surprise for me. Comment down below who you think is going to win Nessa's heart in this episode. And at the end of the episode, edit your comment and say if you were right or wrong. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. I'm pretty well rested today, so I'm excited. I have Zach as my roommate. This is the best, man. Chillest, coolest dude, man. You know, I hope he doesn't get eliminated, man. You know what happened with um, Vanessa and Brandon yesterday? I just know they were chatting, but... <laughs> I think he really likes her, because last time he was talking to her up there, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You didn't know that either? No. Yeah. I am oblivious, man. I gotta get my finger <laughs> on the pulse out here. I'm feeling worried. I was in the bottom three last night, and today, I gotta bring my A game. If 
five of us left in the house now. Really anybody's game. I can feel the tension, but ready to take on the day. Were you scared <laughs> yesterday when you were called on first? Dude, I was terrified. I mean, yeah, I was feeling a little... A little nervous? Yeah. Probably not as nervous as you when you went down there, though. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, no, no. When I got called down, I was freaking out. Yeah. What's up, Timmy? I don't know, I'm scared, man. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Well, you got MVP. Yeah, I mean, that just saved me, but I still don't know anything about the girl. Barely talk to her. I'm kidding. I mean, like, I've been trying, but there's so many other fools here that it's hard to get a chance. So every day a guy is eliminated, and with the guys who are staying, the tension is rising. And I can just feel it slowly getting more and more intense. Yesterday when I was making the uh, strawberries for uh, Vanessa, uh, Christian kind of came over and saw and got, I could tell he got pissed, and then Alex saw and Alex told everyone, so they were all a little bit salty about that, but. Breakfast? I think I'm gonna grab a cup of Joe, actually. Of course, there you go. Okay. Yeah. What? What? I want some breakfast, dude. Yeah. yeah, I do. I'm hungry. Today is a new day. The challenge is very exciting. I can't wait. I think it's right up the guy's alley. I love it. I know you love it. And I there's do? a special twist to it. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, Vanessa was really cute today. I really like her outfit. Her fit was on point. Uh, love the jeans, little leg action, that's cool. So, happy to see you guys this morning. Are you guys doing good? Yeah. Get a lot of rest? No. What happened? It's awesome and turning. <laughs> oh. Still waiting on that one-on-one -on -one date. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are ready for today's challenge. I know this is kind of like a speed dating show, so we had to incorporate some type of speed. So today the challenge is going to be racing, but we're going to be racing go-karts. Yes! Oh, I knew it. That was so rad. So we go go-karting like a lot. All right, yeah. why don't you guys go get ready and we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine, baby. <laughs> I blew it. Good morning. I blew it. How I, are you? Actually, um, brought you something. You did? That I wanted to give you before we left. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah, I All do. Right. I pull Vanessa aside because I want to give her something special. Okay. Right? Yes. So I got you a little something just from what we were talking about uh -huh. at lunch that one day. Uh-huh. Wait, turn around, turn around. Okay. All right, open your eyes. <gasps> From Harry Potter. No but way. it's like sequined, so if you like... Go like this. It says platform nine and three quarters. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> Good. Oh my gosh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, there's another one too. It's not as cool as that okay. one, honestly. Oh, well, no, it's gonna be amazing still. This is so cool. I'm gonna put this on my bed. Really? Yeah, it's a ma it'll match my room. I figured you could put it like in your bed or in your living room or yeah. something. Yeah. And then I got you this too. No way. Yeah. Oh there was no, gosh. there was no Hufflepuff stuff. I know we talked about that, but like, <gasps> this is so cute. I just wanted to do something like without the guys there. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, this is literally the sweetest thing. Ronnie, where's Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> I have to show her. Come here, look. <laughs> look at this. Oh, cool. I know it's like sequin. I think she loved it. I don't care if the other guys see what I'm giving her, but I think. I think I've waited long enough. I really want to give this to her and I think it's my turn. Baller move, Alex is finally doing something. Okay, let's go. All right. Let me go put this away. Yo, this place is awesome. I've never been to like an official go-karting place, so this feels sweet. Playing pool, you know, we're deciding on nicknames and I really didn't know what to choose. And Brandon's like, hey, bro, you should be Tokyo Drift. And then like, you know, all the dudes were like laughing. And then I was like, I don't care, you know, Tokyo Drift is cool, like, why not? And like, I'm Asian, I'm the only Asian guy here, so why not? Yeah, so my nickname is uh, Student Driver. My nickname oh. is Miss Butterworth because I chug maple syrup. <laughs> I chug maple syrup. Yeah, my nickname is 6'5", because I am 6'5". Uh, I guess I'm weak stomach because I got like almost poisoned yesterday with sushi. <laughs> So the big twist is all the guys are going to be racing our manager, Paul. But as you guys know, <laughs> that's our dad. Yeah, 
dad. That's our dad. He's, He's been not. on set all week. We've been calling him Manager Paul. The guys don't know. Because sometimes guys put on this persona when they meet the parents, mm -hmm. but they've already been acting like themselves. And do you know how many guys have told me they wanted to meet our parents? I am That's very nervous about this one oh because I don't know how the guys are going to react. Here we go. So this whole week thus far, I've just been playing the manager. No one's called me dad or daddy or anything like that on set. So everybody, all the guys think I'm their manager, but the truth is I'm their dad. And today we're gonna reveal it to them. And I've gotten to hear all of the stuff that you've heard on camera, but even off camera and the things that I've noticed and witnessed. So it's gonna be a real shocker. Excited? Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you guys are gonna be racing, but here's the actual real challenge: is you have to be that guy over there. Who is our dad? Oh. Oh. <laughs> No clue. When he got out of the cart, I was like, I'm out, see ya, I'm done. I didn't know Paul was their dad, but it makes sense just how comfortable they are around him. That one came out of left field. A little bit of a surprise. What How's up, it going? Pops? How are you doing? Good, good. You guys ready to do some racing? Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah, ready. How are you guys feeling? Not good. That drift yeah. you just did was, that was crazy. crazy. I was re expecting a bigger reaction from them. A reaction like, <gasps> what? I think as I soon as they heard dad, they got into like, they got in press mode. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so the rules are this, is that technically it's a race, but with inside of the track, there's another race. You're racing for time. So whoever can come the closest to my time, good luck. <laughs> so that's a challenge. Fastest lap is the MVP. So the time you have to beat is actually the fastest time of the day, which is 19.294. And I set that lap, Wait, so. Was that, was that you out there earlier? Yeah, Flipping? that was me. You hit those corners so nice. Flattery's not gonna get you anywhere, buddy. So oh, let's race. I don't think they're gonna do good at all. All the boys look so cute in their go-karts. I'm literally loving every minute of this. This is so funny, especially because our dad's around and the vibe is so different. We like go-karting because our dad loves go-karting and it's like a bonding daughter-father bonding moment that we can have with him. I'm sitting in this go-kart right now and I'm terrified. It's like, I'm gonna kill these guys, you know, it's just like Good Mario Kart. Let's Good go! Luck. Let's do this. Go, Alex. Here he goes. Student drive. Six, five, five. Alex has Alex has the fastest lap. Student so driver. Far. Student driver is um, Zach. Okay. I told oh you God. Zach was gonna be good. He's gonna oh be good. Oh God, this is really nerve wracking. Alex is doing good. If Christian wins again, that's three times he's beat MVP. They're over two seconds off of my time. I'm feeling great. I'm taking these corners. I'm drifting. I'm getting like the adrenaline flowing through me. I might win this thing. Well, Christian's drifting. Go! Go! Let's see what Let's go. What's Brandon? Brandon's number three. He's in third. We just got oh, second. Just Brandon just got, got second. second. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is Brandon. Just... You're kidding me. I'm the only one that wiped out, so. <laughs> Embarrassing from the dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait, let's see if Alex can do it. Keep going, keep going, keep going! Wait, is that it? Yeah. That was actually aggressive driving right there. I think Braylon got lucky. 
Alex had better lines all the way through. He was a much smoother How driver. How did Brandon get lucky? I think someone bumped him. Who got hit? Anybody get hit? Yeah. I yeah. Did. He I, did. I, I hit too. I kept yelling. I was like, Brandon, get out no. of the way. I, I screamed that at him. I was like, yo, you need to move because you oh, kept I know. blocking. I yeah. Know. And then no, I hit no. you and you kind of stopped I was and I passed it. <laughs> and that's when you hit me. And that's crazy. Hi, everybody. Oh, How guys. was that? So, so, so never been go-karting ever. You haven't yeah. ever been go-karting? Wow. We did all right. Did all right. Oh, nice. Well, we do have the results. Do you guys want to hear the results? Yes. Yeah. All right. In in last place with a t his best time was 22.498. That would be Tokyo Drift. Oh, boy. 10. Wow. I'm really disappointed getting last place because I'm very competitive and honestly like my mood was like down like after that like I'm like you were like first to second in the beginning. I was the first car, so obviously I'm <laughs> <laughs> With a lap time of almost a full second faster, it, the time is uh, in fourth place was 21.613. That would be student driver. Uh, yeah. Student driver, he's still learning. He's still learning. He's still learning. He's still learning. You were, you were <laughs> first one time. Yeah? Yes. You were first, yeah. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> All right, in third place with a podium finish is a 21.3 flat. That would be Mrs. Buttersworth. That's right. Which is the best one. Good job. Dude, I'm stoked I won third place. I thought I was gonna get dead last and be out there driving like a grandma. Are you kidding me? I'm so happy right now. Second place with a time of 20.807 would be 6.5. No way. Wow. With a time of 20.753, that would be weak stomach. Weak stomach, baby. Brandon. <laughs> as far as like the smoothest driver, the driver that passed the most people would be Alex. He passed the most yep. people. It was impressive. I would give you the best driver award just based on how smooth you were driving. Stuff, so. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so, so it's clear who the MVP of this challenge is. And it's Brandon. Well done. Good job. I cannot believe Brandon won. Listen, the only reason Brandon won is because he got bumped from behind. He was in last most of the race. Seriously? No, yeah, why are people saying that? Brandon got lucky against me. I should have gotten first place. The person who won my heart this challenge is going to be Alex. <laughs> I'm excited. Like I'm finally, I'm finally ready to get my chance, and I think it's gonna go great. Because he gave her a f pillow. You want his heart over here too. So. <laughs> In that bro kind of way, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've answered cars on the test too, so nice. Oh. You did. You did. Why don't you guys get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date, and we'll see you guys later. Okay. So the minute I said Alex is going to be going on the one-on-one -on -one date with me, everyone was just kind of like, uh. But Brandon was like really mad. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Brandon. He is a little melancholy. I'm sitting pretty at second to last and I'm not stressed. I don't have any problems with Alex. It's the it's the whole thing in general. Yesterday we went on this nice <laughs> date and then like after that you would think that she would have just picked me again or something. Just, I don't know, it pisses me off. What the heck? Hello. Oh wait, so what are we doing? Why are there goats? This is three goats and two yoga mats. Look at, what is this? We're doing goat yoga? I've heard of goat yoga, but I never think I'd actually do goat yoga. No, I've never, I've never heard of goat yoga. <laughs> How do you even do goat yoga? Are the goats teaching yoga? Or how does it work? Well, we interact with the goats while we practice yoga. So there might be a moment to where the goat will either jump on you or crawl underneath you. Okay. Why? Maybe even knock you off balance. I think I would fall if they jumped on me. I'm already not that good at yoga. I don't need a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how the goats are gonna be incorporated into the yoga, but I guess we'll give it a shot. I'll try anything once. Welcome to your practice. So I understand that we are yoga practitioners, yes? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start nice and gently. <laughs> Let's just place your hands on your knees. You're gonna feel some hooves on your back. Okay. Take a moment to see if you can close your eyes. Let the smile and the laughter happen. <laughs> okay. 
I could tell we're both like, like, ha ha ha, like we were pretending it didn't hurt. It was like more fun and we kind of bonded more over that. Switch. Rainbow to the other side. Oh, <laughs> Why did it go on me? Now open your knees nice and wide and bring your big toes together. Send your seat to your heels. <laughs> I think I'm feeling three goats on my back right now. Sleeping breath is different from your awake breath. I'm just kind of looking over to her to like make sure this goat doesn't just like wreck her from the side. Cause honestly, like these goats are making me pretty un unsteady and I'm just making sure that she doesn't like get hurt or fall over or anything. Take a moment to tuck your toes under. Sometimes that helps with the balance with your feet flexed. Exhale down into your spine. He's been on for like five minutes. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a balance. So this is where we may fall all over the place. Okay. First, reach your left arm forward like you're gonna shake somebody's hand. Excuse you. Nice balance, nice strength. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one goat been on me for like 10 minutes or is it just me? Yeah. It was like kind of intrusive. Like I'm trying to do downward dog. This goat is balancing on me the entire time. It was the same goat the whole time. Little bit, I think his name was. And he was just balancing on my back the entire time. All right, chill. <laughs> Alex is really fun and is making this date really fun. I just hate what we're doing because the goats are hurting my back. They're pushing me and scratching me and knocking me over these <laughs> goats, I swear. Yeah, these goats are crazy. Like they're just stomping their hooves all over me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna balance the goat on my back. Always say you'll try. You can do it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Some good oh, butt. How does he do that? <laughs> Four's. So next to each other. Oh, just like that. There it is. I think she's liking the date a lot. I think it's funny. I think we're being able to like get more comfortable with one another. And yoga with goats is kind of funny. I think it was a great date. <laughs> that was so good. Alex is holding my hand and just kind of like touching me and hugging me and uh, I love this feeling. This is what I've been wanting. This is what I want. Oh, he's so sweet and so cute. He's really funny too. We take this peace, this bliss out into the rest of our day, rest of our life. We may it become infectious. We close with an, uh, an untraditional namaste. It's called ba namaste. So take a big inhale. Ba namaste. Nice work, my friends. Thank you. Ba namaste. <laughs> that was so fun. I know, so. I didn't, well, I kind of wanted the goat thing to end, but I didn't want the date to end. I for so. sure wanted the goats to get off me. That's for, that's a definite. <laughs> so we're back from the date. We're about to get, um, we're about to go inside the house and me and Vanessa are talking. He like is looking at me like he wants to kiss me. But I had a lot of fun with you. Me too. Today. If the date tomorrow is as fun as that one was today, I want to go on it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the date tomorrow is. We'll see. So, yeah, we'll see, I guess. So. I'm hoping he makes the first move, but I just, I just don't know if he will. And there was kind of a little moment there where I thought, like, I should kiss her. And for some reason, I just, I just didn't. And I still really, I really want to kiss her. I think, I think I'm going to make that moment happen tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, what's up? So we walk into the house and everyone's up on the roof. So we go up to the roof and it's just, there's so much tension from all the boys. It's not just Brandon, it's all the boys. All right, well, let's like take 15 minutes and you can go shower and then we'll get ready for eliminations, okay? 
that's cool. I'm making making a little blanket fort out on the terrace. Oh, I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals, and I just want to have a, a relaxed night with her to kind of talk to her and spend some time with her. All right, guys. So it's time for the elimination process, which means one of you has to go home. Yeah, today was a super fun day seeing you guys race and stuff. So it's really hard for me to choose. I'm feeling nervous. My heart's like beating on my chest. I'm like trying to contain it, you know. I'm trying to stay cool, you know, try to stay relaxed. All right, in the bottom three, the first person is Tim. <laughs> Next in the bottom three is Zach. Bottom three again for the second time, but it had to happen. You know, there's only five of us. Two of them got saved. That leaves three. Third in the bottom three is Christian. Again? Like, that's the... It's the second time I've been in the bottom three, right after a really good date. Um, partially the reason why you guys are in the bottom three is because you guys got last places in go-karting. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, we haven't really connected that well. Um, we have talked here and there, but I don't know. It's just kind of things are, I don't know, iffy. And Tim, um, you're just really quiet today. We didn't, I don't even think we had even one interaction today. All of you are very sweet. And again, this is super hard for me. Listen, I slaved away at making this beautiful thing in the balcony. I bought stuffed animals and stuff like that. If I go home tonight, that's all done. The person who is safe is Christian. Oh my goodness, I feel very blessed right now and I am not gonna mess this up anymore. The person who is not a match for me is Zach. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, in all honesty, I'm grateful for it. I met a lot of cool people, and I think Vanessa's really sweet, but in the grand scheme of things, it just wouldn't have worked out. So Tim, that means you are safe. You've obviously joined the guys back on the stairs. Um, hope you guys get a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow is going to be a fun day. I was bottom two. I almost got eliminated, so you know, I really got to step up my game. First day, I was like at the top, but you could tell I'm slowly declining, but you know, I'm gonna shoot right back up and you know, win her heart. So after eliminations, I get told to go to this room. Come in. Hi. Hey. I'm feeling bad and I feel like we haven't got to talk so much. <laughs> and I was in the, the bottom three twice in a row, um, so I know. Yeah. <sighs> There's some layers to this. First, okay. there was a t-shirt that you like really liked the first day I was here. Uh -huh. And so I'm wondering if you want to wear that. Right oh, and it's comfy too. Yeah, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. What if I do this? Even cuter. I'm here to uh, make Vanessa happy and do something very personal to me because I really like romantic stuff like this. I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals. I'm making a kind of pillow and blanket for. So Christian lifts up the blinds and reveals this like movie scene basically like the sun is setting the colors look absolutely gorgeous and they're stuffed animals did you do all this I did. oh my gosh thank you <laughs> what's that ginger ale ginger ale yeah, yay really fancy i know cheers classy this is so nice. She is glowing right now. Truly, I'm getting like a little nervous to talk to her because I'm, I'm literally flustered by how cute she is. I'm having so much fun with Christian. We're secluded, no one's around, we're just talking. I'm really enjoying this. Aww. Is it cute? Is it, it cute? Is. You are very pretty. Oh my gosh, thank you. you. Oh, this is so cute. Aww. Thanks for doing this. I needed to spend more time with you because I really miss you a little bit. Oh, you're big. Look at, wow, that's like a rock right there. Look at you, tough girl. In comes Brandon. 
glances through the window and then gives his typical <laughs> runs out the door, slams it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm kind of shook, but you know, I'm brushing it off, talking to Christian, and I look down the balcony and I see Brandon walking away from the house. Is he, is he straight up? Should I go after him? Yeah. Here. Okay. Can't wait. Here. So I'm running out of the house trying to catch up to Brandon. Where are you going? Me, where am I going? I'm walking away. Why? Okay, yeah, come back. Come back to the house. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Like, I don't, I don't even think like it's worth like staying here to the last day just to see that happen. Like, I actually like you and it sucks because like, I don't know what you feel at all. Can you tell me how you feel? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I run into the room that Christian was in and I see Christian on the balcony just staring down and we see Brandon and Nesson, the, the crew with like a light tube running and chasing Brandon down the street. He stormed out. Today I wanted to kind of do my thing and then yeah. he came in and really? threw a dramatic fit. She left and... Mm -hmm. oh. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I find her in our room just crying. Are you okay? <laughs> this is just a lot. It's a lot. I know my sister and she doesn't just cry for anything. Like I know this is taking a toll on her. Why did you run after Brandon? Well, I felt bad for him. Now I feel bad for Christian. I feel bad for everyone. Um, I think you should maybe go talk to Christian. Just at least apologize. I know he was looking for you. Okay. So here she is chasing after a guy who just threw a temper tantrum and I'm cleaning up what was a really nice date. Are you okay? Yeah, Are you good? I'm fine. I feel so bad. Are you okay? okay. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I feel so bad leaving you. That's okay, that's okay. I was okay. just there kind of cleaning up and doing all that stuff. How are you okay. doing? Are you fine? I'm fine. Okay. It's just, I don't know, I'm feeling a lot, so I just wanted to. Yeah? Would I it, felt bad Would leaving. a kiss make it better? <laughs> it's dark chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, that means a lot. You're welcome. Good to laugh <laughs> in tough situations. I'm really happy after that apology. I still want to talk to her about it and like fully decompress from the situation, but thank goodness I got to talk to her tonight. Nessa, so, so what really went down? Like I wasn't there, like I, I'm panicking. Well, I went after Brandon cause I thought he was leaving and obviously didn't want him to leave the show. So I chase after him and he starts talking and basically just getting mad about the show cause he says he has real feelings for me. And I was like happy about it, cause this whole time we've been wanting, I've been wanting to kiss him. But after we kiss, I don't know. I just started to feel really conflicted just about everything. I promise you guys that this is not staged. Um, this is all real. Like even Brandon was asking me, who, who, who told you to go do that? Who, who, who made that happen with me and Christian? And I was like, no one, no one told me to do that. Christian did that Christian did that. I know, and uh, like, yes, this is a show and stuff, but it's, you know, real feelings are coming through and we're bringing you guys along with us on this journey. Yeah, today's been a lot. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 how did it? No, sit down and talk. No, I'm not you talking want, to you, why bro. Why do you don't? You don't I'm not talking talk to you, bro. Hell you no. Before. Dude. They think we're doing another group group date. Yes. A little do they know, we're doing the twin swap challenge on them. I'm so confused right now. What's wrong? So tonight, there's actually no MVP, and there's actually no bottom three, or no bottom two. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> 
if you commented earlier who you think would be MVP of this episode, go edit and change your answer or say if you were right or wrong. Also, make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness and hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV's YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next episode. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. And if you haven't seen the last episode, you have to watch it in order to know what's going to happen in this episode. I woke up this morning and I felt like I was gonna throw up. Really? I just was, I don't know. There's so many things going on in my head right now. And I don't know, I like, you know, the kiss with Brandon. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to kiss anyone else. You are trying to find love, and if something happens, you just gotta go with the flow. I know. Did you feel like any excitement, like kissing him though? Like any like butterflies, or like, you know, that feeling you get? Like 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 the spark that you get I, when you kiss someone? I thought I would, but I didn't. I just wonder if any of the boys know that Brandon kissed me. <laughs> And I want to know how they feel about it, but I also don't want them to know. All right, let's just take a deep breath in. <sighs> All right, let's move on from yesterday's events. All right, time to go talk to the boys. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, I hope you guys are feeling good today. Yep. Yes. So I'm not really feeling too well today, so I just, I don't know, there was a lot that happened yesterday and I woke up and I was just kind of stressed out. So we are going to eliminate the group date. I'm so confused, like why aren't we doing a group date? We've done one every single day. But instead, we're gonna give you each 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one with her. Yeah, so if you know there's anything you've been wanting to say to me or you know, anything, Make sure you choose your time wisely. Time is running out. All right, let's go upstairs. Honestly, the vibe has been like the most awkward it's been this entire show. Dude, I'm, I'm confused right now. It's bad because I almost got eliminated. Now like I have to like really tell her something. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're good. I don't understand why why she she would have had a bad night like the fact that she's she woke up today and said that she was having a terrible day or like from a bad night it like kind of like made me think like not only like was it me or like do i just like lay off now because if i'm causing her stress then i don't even want to be near her yesterday was a yeah. day yesterday yeah yesterday f yeah. Off. yeah because of you because of me yeah because you know you set this up that pissed me off how did it piss you off that I said something like Because you were laying on the f***ing balcony with her and I walked in. That pissed me off. Why did you walk in then? I didn't walk in when you went up to the roof so with what? strawberries and chocolate. It doesn't matter, you don't... You know what? Bro, do you even like her? Yes, I do. How did it... No, sit down and talk. No, I'm not you talking wanna... to you, Why bro. do you... You don't, you don't even want to talk about it. Hell no, what the f*** do? Brandon. Nah, bro, he wants to play that Again, I'm not... What are you talking about? Just don't do that again, because next time I'm not going to just walk out. Oh, what are you going to do next time, then? You, bro, you don't want to start hey, that, dude. Relax. Dude, just calm down and have a conversation. All right, so have your 15 minutes with her today, and then you'll be gone, right? That's it. Brandon and Christian are kind of going at it. Brandon's kind of like at his throat at this point about something that happened last night. Um, I didn't see what happened. Are you no. kidding? Nah, there's sometimes no point in talking. But now Brandon's getting in my face. Thank God for Tim right now because I'm stressed, Vanessa's stressed, and I really don't know what's happening right now. I knew it was gonna be a dating show. I knew I was gonna be with other guys in the house. I knew it'd be exactly like this. I knew I'd get pissed. Obviously, I agree that she should have a fair chance with everyone, but it still doesn't mean that I can't have emotion over it. We're so not going on a group date today because Vanessa's stressed. If there's tension in the house, She's gonna stay stressed for the whole freaking day, so. That has nothing to do with you and me, bro. That has nothing to do with you and me. It is everything she's stressed no, it because doesn't. of you and she's, me right now. Look, we're you, all, we're all trying to say the same thing. We're all, yeah. we're all here for the same reason. I don't have to like you. I have to live in the same house okay. with you. Okay, so okay. then we're gonna deal with it like that. We don't need to talk to each other, but that's it. You piss me off and that's it, straight up. It's a dating doesn't competition. You I took her to eat strawberries. Yeah, you took, took her to cuddle up with her? 
how do you approach someone like that? I don't know what to do right now. I'm literally terrified. He, uh, he's scary and I'm scared. <laughs> what just happened? Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong. That's what I'm thinking. It's a dating show. Yeah, it's a dating show. And, you're and I wanted to do something special for her. Mm -hmm. Like he... I am feeling really stressed right now. I don't know how to make of this whole situation and I don't want Brandon to do something like dumb that he's gonna regret. I think no one wants to see that. So, you know, I'm trying to do my best to stop these conflicts. We don't get to choose how she feels about all of us. So, you know, there's no point in like, like getting each other's business. Cause you know, if she naturally wants to be with you, I'm not gonna be sabotaging you you know, I want what's best for her, you know what I mean? So like, whoever she chooses, you know, like, I'm not trying to put you down. We got something very special planned for the guys today. They and think we're doing another group group date. Yes. A little do they know, we're doing the twin swap challenge on them. If you don't know what the twin swap challenge is, we are identical twins and we are going to put the guys in a situation where they're with Nessa alone and then halfway through the middle, she has an excuse to leave the room and I come in looking exactly like her and see if they can tell the difference. Okay, so I think we pretty much look similar. When we I switch so. though, I'll have to give you my rings. Mm -hmm. So I need to focus on um, sounding like you. You need to go higher. You need to go higher. No, you. I end with my sentences higher. No, I end with my sentences higher. Eee! No! Ronnie, come on! Ronnie, come on! I don't know what sounds like me. I don't know what sounds like me. That doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound like me. Hello? Hello? <laughs> no! No! Ronnie, stop! Ronnie, stop! <laughs> Ronnie, you have to, like, act like you're into the guys and you can't do your Ronnie faces because you have Ronnie faces that I don't have. Ronnie faces? I feel like out of everyone, I feel like Brandon's gonna know. That's what I said. Tim, maybe. Alex, I don't think so. Actually, Christian probably will be able to tell us apart. All right, I think we're good. Let's, Let's go tricks twin and boys. Tricks and boys. This is so nerve-wracking. Come in. Hi. Come in. I'm so happy I'm gonna talk to Vanessa one on one. You look so nice. Thank I love you. that shirt on you. I got you. Well, oh, there's like a whole story. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's kitty cats. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy I had a nice week because these. He just wrote her a really sweet card. I wanted to let you know if I end up getting eliminated that I had a memorable time getting to know you. I couldn't help but smile whenever you smiled at me. I honestly feel you are a wholesome person, very down to earth and overall a good human being. I wrote her a nice card and I got her favorite flowers. I legit called 20 to 30 flower stores just to find those flowers. Oh, well, that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, wait, I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, no, I lost the switch. Oh, that note. Yeah, take it, take it. Oh, okay. Wait, what that letter? That note What are you so freaking saying? He's going to be able to tell. Settle. I know, and he said we have a good support system. Okay, okay. I don't know, let's just do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Wait, okay. his face. His face, his face. His face. Um. Where were we? Why are you here? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It's obvious. It is? Yeah. What? What makes it obvious? I know how you guys look like, how you guys talk and everything. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go in there. No, when you first came in for a second, I was like, just because you're wearing the same outfit. But when I saw your face, I was like, no, nah, that's not her. Oh my gosh. Okay, good job. You passed the test. Okay. <laughs> Oh Do you God. think any of the other guys will be able to tell? You think? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was easy. I was like, what? I didn't know what was going on. I'm not gonna be like, hey, get out of the room. And then she sits down and she looks at me. I'm like, she's trying to act like she's Vanessa. 
But those flowers are really hard to find. Yeah, he said, why are these your favorite? And I said, I don't remember telling him. Did you tell him? Did someone tell him these were my favorites? Mm -hmm, yeah. Did you? Mm-hmm. He figured it out right away. No, he looked at you like, what are you doing, are you doing here? here? All right, shall we bring in the next guy to trick? Hi. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. I just wanted to start off by saying I had a great time yesterday. Me too. I feel like really comfortable with you. It was a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, yesterday was super fun. Huh? Yeah. Well, I know that you're stressed out. Um, you don't feel great today. So I just, I, I wrote you this, just kind of like my thoughts for the past few days. He's been journaling. So oh, thank you. I wanted to read it for you. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. So with my 15 minutes, I'm gonna try and come up with something like short and sweet. Tell her how I feel, how I've been feeling these past few days, how it's gotten so much better as the day's gone on and how much closer and more comfortable I feel with her. Um, I'm gonna try and draw her something too, and I hope that she likes it. So listen when I tell you that your journey is your own, and nobody can take that away from you unless you let them. Be the best that you can be. And don't forget, don't let the good times go to your head or the bad times go to your heart. And then I tried to draw, like, um, I like to draw, I tried to draw, this was like, the freckles are kind of what I, I like one of your my favorite qualities about you. Really? Yeah. You like my freckles? Yeah, I think they're cool. Thank you. <laughs> Do I have freckles? Hey, sorry girl, um, you have mad flyaways. Okay, okay. Okay. Cool. Wait, wait, I'll be back, oh, stay there, stay there, right. I'll be back. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, I, I wasn't even paying half crazy. attention. Did I get it? Did I get it? You're good. Okay. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank um, you. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about yesterday and everything that's been happening? I feel really good. I don't, yeah. I've honestly, as the days have gone by, it's been like kind of warming up and getting more comfortable and I've really enjoyed it. That's Especially sweet. getting to know you. I think we have like a lot more in common than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about like Brandon and the other guys? Um, I think I'm kind of worried about Brandon and Christian going through that thing last night. I didn't really see what happened. I kind of like to stay out of that drama, but. It was crazy. I feel bad for Christian because he doesn't hey, deserve that. Vanessa, I'm so sorry. Let's just do it like one more time with your hair. Okay. It's coming up. It's the ponytail. <laughs> I know. It's the ponytail. Let's just make it right. Maybe he was just being polite. I don't even know what's wrong, honestly. <laughs> it's a little thing. Just sit down, just sit down. Okay. Okay. So. Is she going to tell him? Okay, so glad I got that out of the way. That's just kind of how I've been feeling. Those are like my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And Thank you. I just want you to know that I'm here for you if anything you need. Okay. And yeah. All right. All right. Oh, thank goodness he didn't kiss me on the forehead. Okay, yeah. Did, did he tell? Could he tell? I don't think so, Nessa. This is not good. I knew he wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, okay. okay. next is Christian, and I, I know he's going to be able to tell. You think so? Yes. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but I made some cinnamon, cinnamon toast. toast. I actually haven't eaten today. Really? I tried to make it crispy on the outside, soft in the inside. It tastes so good. Yeah. Exactly how I like it. Oh, good. I feel bad about it yesterday. That's okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I, no. It's, well, it's have... kind of like kept the whole thing kind of a secret from the other guys. Like they were downstairs and I was up here like making mm -hmm. it and doing all of that. and. Oh, Christian. So I wouldn't put that on you, so yeah. don't worry about it. Okay, gotcha. I'm so. glad you see it that way. <laughs> but I feel bad running after him. I just thought he was actually gonna like leave oh, the yeah. show. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you, I was no, like, you, you, you kind of had to. I was to. like, do I need to go after? Yeah. Guys, can we stop for a second? We're having trouble no. with your mic. I'm getting some interference. I'm not ready for this. Let's, okay. let's just go outside, guys. Yeah. Okay, stay there. Okay. Gosh dang it, you got me for Gosh dang it. That's okay. This is so sweet of you. So, how are you feeling? I am feeling good. It... Hmm? 
I'm What's so wrong? confused right now. What's wrong? <laughs> Did you just switch with your sister? No. What do you mean? I feel like I. Hey, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Pause you. Let's go get some hairspray on your hair. There's a couple of flyaways I want to get off. What kind of what kind of game are we playing with? Oh, I absolutely know. You guys just swapped places. Come on. A twin swap? Okay, that's actually pretty smart. I like that, but didn't get me. There you are. Hmm? What, that, what game was that? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> Your she... sister came in here. No, she didn't. Yeah, she that did. was me. No, my mind is confused right now. You have very different faces. Yeah? <laughs> 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 Dude, I caught on so fast. You did. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you kept looking at me. You were like. All right, well, now we got to bring up freaking Brandon. I haven't talked to him since last night, and I'm really nervous for this. What's up, little one? Hi. What is that? All right, it's going to be fun. So, look, you're stressed, so to stop stress, we're going to play a game. All right, okay. you ready for this? It's actually really fun. I don't know if you've ever done this. So whoever is reading it, the other person puts a little bit of water in their mouth. Okay, look, you're gonna randomly pull one out and you basically, since you love Screamo, you have to say what it says Screamo-wise. No! Yes. All right, so I'd be like, I'd be like. <laughs> so No, but you'd be like, applesauce sucks. <laughs> and if you have water in your mouth, then you, and you, you spit it out and you lose. So that's what it'd be like. Okay. So don't look and just pick a random one. Oh, I smell cupcakes. <laughs> I have to put water in my shirt now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't think I was. I'm gonna touch up my makeup real quick. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I'll be back. Hold oh on. my god. I can't believe I just did that. I got 15 minutes and just spit on it. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm so sorry. Like I, it was like I'm just gonna put my face in the bucket. I'm so sorry. He has no right. idea. All right, so, so I, so I have one point. So Wait. Put water in your mouth. No way. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Okay, okay. Ready? <laughs> Rainbow butt farts. <laughs> Mess up. Mess up. Oh my God, Vanessa. All right, cool, we're one and one. Okay, sorry guys. Um, Vanessa, let's fix your hair. Oh, okay. You got some flyaways. I have some hairspray to put on. You have to like reset <laughs> after spitting. No way. No freaking way. <laughs> no way. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, oh my freaking gosh, Vanessa. He called me Vanessa and he hugged me. He did the thing where he throws your neck. <laughs> Isn't it nice? <laughs> no. Yes, because you Why have to- Why don't we just talk? All right, because you're such a stress. What are we going to talk about? I don't want to talk to you more because then everyone else out there is talking to you. Why would we talk? Why wouldn't we just play a game? What do you mean? Because you're stressed. So I'm not going to like talk and make you more stressed. We'll just play a game and you'll forget about things. And then I make you smile like I've done. <laughs> you mean me already? Mm. Where is my Snuggie? when you don't laugh. <laughs> I don't want to go in and do another twin swap because he was like so touchy feeling and like, I'm not comfortable doing that. <laughs> what do you want to talk to me about? Why did you run off like that? Because I was mad. Why? Because I was mad. Stop whining. Why do you keep whining about stuff? I'm not whining about anything. I'm chilling. He's such a flirt. <sighs> was that cute? Did you like it? Look. No, I hated it. You could tell on my face. Yes, you couldn't even tell us apart. I know. Neither could Alex. What the heck? I'm just saying, I thought he would be able to because I you know- I thought so too. He kissed you, so. Well, should we go uh, down there and reveal to them what just happened? Yeah, we need, we need yeah. 
you know how the one-on-one -on -one date is supposed to be bowling today? Mm -hmm. I was thinking because I can't really decide on who to take today on the one-on-one -on -one date, we should just bring them along. Oh my gosh. Because there's so much tension going on right now. It'll, it'll like ease all the tension to just have fun and play bowling. Or only the ones who know just get to go bowling. I'll decide when we go down. So the girls call us down and we're standing in, a, in like a straight line. It feels like, like a firing line. I have no idea what to expect. All right. I had a lot of fun hanging out with all of you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So before I pick out who I want to take on my one-on-one -on -one date, I actually have a confession. We switched halfway during those. <laughs> two of you noticed, two of you did not notice. Sorry for spitting on your leg. <laughs> Finding that out was terrible. My like heart dropped. <laughs> that was a good talk. <laughs> okay, wait, Brandon, come back. At the end of the day, like it's just a prank and I think, I like that, I think that's really funny. It was really fun for us, <laughs> so we're sorry. But I think we should all go together on the one-on-one -on -one date. And we are gonna go bowling. Bowling. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's go. I know like Vanessa's differences so well. The only reason I didn't know is because like one, I had the game. So like I honestly like distracted myself. I definitely like 100% would have known that like it was Veronica if I was like fo more focused on it. I wasn't even focused on it. Like that's the only thing like I can say. No, no, we switched. No, we switched no. Oh, wait, Are you? Oh my we switched God. on you. <laughs> I thought that like when she said we switched half of you that like only two people had gotten swapped and I was like, great, I was talking to Vanessa the whole time. Both of you found out. Yeah, he Tim noticed right away. Even how you guys move, how you guys smile, a lot of things I can tell the difference like right away. You, was, you were tripping. <laughs> I was tripping. I thought I was having problems. Oh, really? Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, dude, I saw oh, no oh. difference. I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Are you serious? How do you not tell them apart? You've literally spent the past, what, like four or five days with her and you don't know the difference between them? Like, come on guys, it's so obvious. Especially Brandon, like, how does he not see that? Uh, I'm, I'm done, I wanna go home, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel really bad for Brandon, I was trying to calm him down and like take it on the chin and move forward. Like we just, honestly, we just got got. That's end of the day, we got got. Okay, so two of the boys are butt hurt and I wonder who. Jeez. It's a so, prank. It was a prank and we're seeing their true colors. Our producers have been listening on their conversations because we're all mic'd. Me and Nessa are mic'd right now. And all the guys are mic'd and they can still hear us talking. Even when the cameras are off. So, uh, our producers just let us know that Brandon and Alex are conspiring about the elimination process. Brandon thinks he's getting eliminated, and so he's asking Alex to have Alex step down and eliminate himself if Brandon's in the bottom three. I'm not gonna ask you to do it, but that would be awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm saying, would I wait until like if it they're about to eliminate someone or after they've been eliminated? Probably before, right? You'd wait till they see if they eliminated me. So I genuinely feel like I want to just throw up right now because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm being manipulated and used because now I don't know like what's real and what's not. I guess what that shows us is that someone hasn't been super truthful with their feelings. As much as I hate saying this, I think Brandon genuinely wants to be here. Like I'm here for a genuine reason and they're like conspiring and stuff. Yeah, I really don't want to go before. Bro, I just wanna give you another shot. Cause like I started to like her yesterday. I literally had those feelings. But at the end of the day, I, I do have like a chick that I could go home to. Ah, <gasps> Alex said that. Automatic disqualification. Like you've got a girl waiting at home. Like I'm sorry, I don't want to be involved in that. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna go bowling and not make this awkward. Let's go. I'm not a very good bowler. But I'm ready. Oh, oh. That was better. So 
now we're at the bowling alley and it's even more awkward than we were expecting. Oh, whoa! So, what the? Are oh. you? Yeah. Today, Alex and me have decided to basically, during the group date, to not really give her so much attention and kind of stay back and see what, what kind of happens from it. I kind of noticed Brandon getting a little upset. You know, I'm chilling, you know, I know where I stand. So, you know, he feels threatened. So obviously he's getting mad. Yeah, Brandon and Alex aren't really making an effort at all at bowling. It seems like it's just those two and that's all that matters right now. So how does it say this slash means I got a oh. oh. No way! I really do think that Tim and Christian were making a lot of effort to have a good time and just hang out, but Brandon and Alex were really bringing down the mood. So I had to do what I always do when I feel awkward and feeling left out. I called my best friend, Aaron, and asked him if he was anywhere close to where we were, and he just happened to be with Alex, and they were five minutes away. We gotta close the earbud. What up, boys? Yeah, it's over. Oh! <laughs> hey! Let's oh, go! Oh, I was the last one to see you. What's up? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. Man. What's he doing? Oh, the final four. Double whammy. Double whammy. My boy Alex and my boy Aaron, you know, Asians coming through. I love them, dude. Like, they got that high energy. Honestly, when they came in, like, it was a whole different place. I can't even Don't see miss. where it's going. Are you holding the ball correctly? You're Yo, that's a bad idea, bro. That's a oh bad God. idea. She ends with her wrist. Yo, you're gonna have a broken. Oh! 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 I got this. Okay, that was scary. That was quite scary. Oh, they both went up like. Oh. With Aaron and Alex being back, I'm really excited. There's like a little bit of camaraderie between me, Aaron, and Alex. I think they're really cool guys. They've been really supportive and um, helpful for me. Set. <laughs> oh no! Alex did a penguin slide, dude. That hurt my knee. <laughs> I'm feeling like with Alex and Aaron there, the guys are starting to have more fun. I don't want it, Alex. Oh, let's go, baby. Alex shows up and I just get this huge, like, big sigh of relief. And I was just like, oh, someone home, my friend, please save me, type thing. I really was happy that he was there. Okay, so it's been a great time. Hope you guys had fun. Thank you, Aaron and Alex, for joining us. But we gotta go back home now and do the elimination process. Yeah, so let's get going home, you guys. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. I'm back in it. <laughs> Am I back in it now? Yeah, you back, back in? I think, I think if we ask the guys, they would vote me back in. I'll see you on season two. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back at the house, and I don't even need time to like prepare. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hello. Bullying was um in interesting, but you know I still had a little bit of fun. So tonight there's actually um, no MVP, and there's actually no bottom three or no bottom two. The person who is not a match for me is Alex. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Alex. Thank you. I feel a little surprised. I'm not really good with goodbyes, so I don't know what I'll say. I really want to say something. It feels weird because I, I said a lot of things that I wanted to say in the day today, and it feels kind of, it kind of hurts a little bit, like saying all those things and being so vulnerable and then getting eliminated in the same day. So I think talking to her again after being eliminated would be even harder. All right, well, that's that. So good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The fact that she picked Alex before the other two, it kind of caught me off guard. Alex just left and that was quick. 
It was tense in there, dude. Dude, that happened so fast. Like, what the hell was that? Yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. I just want to be left alone at this point. Um, I didn't want to see the boys at all. I just, uh, I, I don't know why I didn't go upstairs, but I went outside and went in the farthest corner I could find. And then Brandon comes and talks to me and it's really stressing me out. I tell you everything that I feel and all the shit, and I just, I don't know, like, I don't know what you want. I'm looking through the window and I see Brandon has got Vanessa kind of in a corner, like she can't move because she's blocked by him and blocked by the pool and it's just, not a good situation for her. I need to walk out there and I need to split them up and make sure that she's okay because she's very stressed right now and I want to give her whatever she needs. I'm good. We just came out to check on you. See how you're working. I'm, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay. I'm good. So Brandon is expecting me to give him answers and I can't, there's literally two other guys who are in this show still and I'm trying to be respectful to them and he's just, he's really, Pushing the edge. She wants some space. Just give her some space. I can go tell her something if I want to tell her something first off. You don't okay, tell I'm me not, what to do. I'm not gonna stop. You're just you, like, don't stop. Like, okay. Like you really want to stay here and like be happy with that. Like why can't you just like like if you know what you want, why don't you just go for it? I don't know what to say to Brandon. None of my answers are pleasing him. And I see Ronnie out of the corner of my eye. I need saving right now. What? It's nothing against y'all, but like... <laughs> oh, I know. It's nothing. I know. Like, I have zero problems, you guys. Like, I I've know. been with you guys since day one, but like, at this point, like, with three people left, like, if I want to say something, obviously, like, I wouldn't block you from saying, like, you know what I mean? What are you talking about? You wouldn't block me from talking. You were upstairs there. That was a different story. I'm talking about, like, right now. If you want to go talk to her, I'm not going to, like, be like, no. Like, you can, Fair like, enough. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I wasn't trying to, like, you can't go talk to her. I, I was telling you I she know, wanted she was, space. Yeah. So I wanted to give her space, and yeah. she's not going to get space I if everybody's this is the Situation is like you're it's stressing me out. Now. It's stressing me out too. It's stressing everybody out. That's why I think everybody needs well, to take why, some space. Like, I don't get why we're like in this. Like, why am I in this? I'm just trying to think about her and give her space when she wants space. But now Brandon's getting in my face about like, I just want to end this thing and he wants it to be over and he wants her to choose right now. But like, that's not how this works. I'm really nervous. I'm um, setting up something very special, super romantic. I hear a knock at the door and I'm just like, oh, who is it? And I open the door to see an assistant saying, someone would like to talk to you upstairs. I can't say who. As I'm opening the door and I see Tim, I just get this big like sigh of relief. I like Tim's energy and his presence and he's not stressful. So I was really happy to see Tim standing right there with my favorite song, Claire de Lune playing in a bunch of candles and the sun is setting. So I know Vanessa likes to dance. I'm pretty sure this is gonna help her feel better. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'll, I'll know, we can both do it. Okay, wait, I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll be the guy. I'll lead you. I'm leading you. Okay. Do I go like this? What am I doing? That's we're it? just, we're doing this. Okay, no. so you're expert. No, I just... Wait, like, what am I... Oh, I'm not flexible. Like that? Okay. And then like... <laughs> Why are you so good at this? I don't know. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, I got spun around a few times. This is exactly what I needed. I needed Tim with the sunset and the candles. It's been a long day, but I think it ended on a really, really good note. So today is the last day. I've started to develop feelings for each of the guys in different ways, and it's very complicated. Oh, I hate elimination so much. The person who is not a match for me is. But I have to make a decision. Are you shocked at who we eliminated? Comment down below if you were right. Make sure to stay tuned for next episode. It is the final day where Nessa chooses her perfect match. So you have to make sure the bell button is on so you get notified when that video comes out. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel. All the links will be in the description below. Follow Awesomeness TV on Instagram to get behind the scenes exclusive content. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. 
So we're down to the final three guys, and we're still trying to figure out who is the perfect match for me. If you haven't seen the other episodes, go watch them to make sure you're filled in with all the drama. Last episode, there was too much intensity, and things got interesting. Comment down below who you think is the perfect match for me, and at the end of the video, edit your comment and let us know if you are right or wrong. So today is the last day, and how are you feeling? <laughs> I am, I don't know. There is a lot going on. Last night, Tim helped me relax and kind of relieve my stress, but I woke up today and that stress kind of all came back. So today is about clarity for me. I'm just super confused and overwhelmed with emotions and I need something to just show me who is the right guy for me. Even though it's gonna be really hard to eliminate everyone, you kinda have to. It's mm. called tough love. And you have to show it sometimes. And you gotta do what's best for you, Nessa. It's just gonna be hard because I'm gonna feel really bad. Because you know, these are real emotions and stuff. All right, let's go talk to the boys. I feel so good right now. I'm so happy to be here. It's the last day. I'm in the top three. Let's do this. All the stress was yesterday and like no drama has happened yet. You know, we're just all chilling, playing cards. But you know, we never know what we're going to do the last day. Um, I think Brandon is really desperate. I woke up this morning and I just have a new mindset. I'm very independent as a person and I want to remain that way. So because of that, I've let my guard down and now I'm putting it back up and that's it. She picks me, great. If she doesn't, she doesn't. The thing about Brandon is like, you know, he's like the cool dude, you know. He's like, girl, I don't care about no girl, but you know, it's kind of obvious that he does have feelings for Vanessa. Like, he's just trying to play cool. Good morning, guys. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys are my final three. We're going to have such a fun day today. Yeah, today we got a fun group challenge. So some of you may know we do live a very busy life with social media and YouTube. And um, the challenge for today is you guys are going to help us with a photo shoot because we need some content for our Instagrams. As crazy as that sounds, it, if you're going to be dating my sister, you gotta be thinking work about work and stuff <laughs> and helping her out. It's fun. So you'll you'll help me take pictures and we'll take pictures together. Okay. But the real challenge is Nessa is going to look bad in some of these pictures on purpose to see if oh. the guys will point it out and make sure she looks good for the camera. <laughs> I always look good. They came down and announced that today's challenge is just uh, kind of like a photo shoot challenge. We're just gonna be taking pictures of them and uh, then we'll take some of with us, of course, and it'll be fun. It'll be just a good time and that's it. Yeah, I totally understand why they'd have you do like an Instagram photo shoot and stuff like that. It's just part of their job. I picked the pool to do this photo shoot, okay. but I know that you've already like yeah. taken pictures in the pool, but I'm seeing this really cool kind of light up here uh -huh. from the pool's reflection. So I'm thinking we get you on the wall like and then this? you're a bit in the shadow. Wind speed is good. Well, we have to check. Okay. How does this look? Yeah? Perfect. Okay. What else should I do? You just saw a, a very white kitty cat run by. <laughs> ha oh, yep, there it is. Look at, look at that smile. They're adorable. Like, these are coming out great. Let me see. Okay. Let me yeah, see. Okay. This one. I'm like, uh, really? <laughs> look at me. So, Christian takes me out to the patio to start taking pictures. He's got some good ideas. Am I getting good Instagram content? Oh, you are. This angle is perfect. You can tell she's been on a photo shoot or 50 because she knows what she's doing. Now let me take pictures of you two together. Okay. Here, did you want to like touch up anything, Nessa? The plan is to make Nessa have lipstick on her tooth. We didn't really talk about the plan and the action. No, we to didn't. get to that point. So I decided to hand her her lipstick that I found in the bathroom. Okay, smile. <laughs> What if we like sat up on this, yeah, like sure. with the pool? Uh huh. Like, do I look okay? I'm gonna try not to oh, fall. Oh, you have a little bit. 
Christian is so sweet. He literally takes his thumb and wipes the lipstick off my tooth. There it is. Did I get it? Okay, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And I knew right in that moment that was the challenge. Now, like, do like a candid where you're like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really like the interaction that you guys have. It just it seems like it's just fun and lighthearted and not so intense and just you can have fun with each other. Does anybody have like a bounce? Can I use a bounce? Of course. Solomon! Thank you! It was really cool that he asked for a white bounce to like help the light reflect onto my face so there was more light for the picture. I don't know, I feel like he understands like my world. The reflector works beautifully. Her face is now lit up. That's gonna be a perfect Instagram picture. I did my job. These are perfect. Good, I'm so glad. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Me too, me too. And I had fun bowling yesterday too, and I've had fun. I'm glad. You were so everything. good at bowling. I, at all. You're just naturally talented at it all. I guess so. <laughs> really enjoyed getting to know her and spend time with her and I just wanted to let her know that I am really happy with how the week has gone. So now it's time to move on to the next guy's photo shoot challenge and I hope it goes as well as this one did. Christian did really good. He did. I'm definitely posting one of those photos. So I kind of want to take a photo on the stairs because I think these stairs are really cool. You want to be like right there? Okay. Sure. Okay. Ooh, like here? Tim models, so I have a feeling he's gonna be good at this. How does this look? Okay, it looks okay. Alright. Okay! Yeah, it looks okay. We gotta warm up, you know, it's like okay. the first tape, you know. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm expert at taking photos. Get that low angle, that high angle. Wait, can I see? Uh let's, let's look at it later. Wait, what? Okay, what should we do different? I don't know. Maybe standing? Standing? Yeah, right here. So I was really looking forward to shooting with him, but honestly, it's kind of awkward. Maybe just squat down right there. And... Okay. So I'm not really feeling the staircase, but you know, you just gotta work with it. You know, you whatever angles you got, you gotta make the best out of it. You're good at this. I am? Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. How does it look? Okay, you can look. Don't give me your reaction. I like this one. Okay, let me yeah. take let me take pictures of you guys together now. Okay. Okay. Right. Did you wanna touch up? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's because I'm like pressured to do well. I got kinda nervous. Okay, I I got it. Okay. All right. Okay, I want you to start. Yeah. Oh, shit. I should have just left it off. Why? <laughs> that would be so funny. No. Okay, what do you guys think? I don't know, my leg is weird. Bad angle. No. Okay, okay. Bad angle. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Okay, Tim was not impressed with my photo taking skills. Oh, come yeah, on. No, you're not good at all. They were good pictures. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Were they? Tim, were they? I was kind of like, okay, um, you could go now. It's okay. Thank you for trying, you know. So Tim isn't really giving me any direction at all on what to do, and he's not wanting me to see the photos and how they're turning out. So I feel like this is kind of a disaster. Why don't we just talk for? Oh, I have something real quick. I can get it. Real quick. Oh. Since we're taking a picture. What is it? What do you have? Well, I'll talk about it first. Okay. Um. You know, I know you had fun with like all the guys, mm -hmm. and you were really sad to like let them go. Mm -hmm. So I got you something for like all of us. Oh my gosh! I'm giving Vanessa a picture of the day one contestants with her and her sister. I just wanted you to have like a good memory of like your whole experience here. Aww. This is really sweet and a nice gesture, but I'm not sure about looking at all my ex potential boyfriends. I don't think I told you yet, but I liked all your outfits. Really? Yeah, like all of them. But my favorite one was when you were um, 
wearing the brown long sleeve? No, that was my sister. No, you were it. No, that was Ronnie. Why did I even bring that up? Oh my god. <laughs> no, you were it. When? Go kart. Oh, my hockey jersey? Yeah, the hockey jersey. <laughs> The little stripes yeah, at the end, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was like, I'm eliminated right there. Oh my god. It was her. I'm really relieved. I just it's had a good. heart attack. All right, so now on to Brandon. And who knows what he's going to do. Okay. What should I do? <laughs> I want to do a sexy photo shoot with Vanessa. Like this or no? Yeah, yeah. You gotta tell me what to you do. You need to like stay like that and work it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I actually feel like the photo shoot's going pretty well. He's got ideas in his head and he's making me feel really confident. Dude, Vanessa's hella photogenic. It's funny, like when she'll actually look in the camera, like it's like instantly you could you could take it and it'd be a perfect photo. It's kind of funny actually. Right in the middle, cross your legs, grab that fur pillow. Yeah. Hold the fur pillow. Like that. Okay. Is it good or no? I don't need to tell you. Oh, All right. What do you, I need to now can lay I see back. what they look like? No, lay back. Yeah, and now just kind of like, just like go like this, but look out the window a little bit. Out the window a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Let me take pictures of you two now. All right. Okay, now do you want to touch up? Sure. I want to take them out on the balcony though. So Ronnie comes in and I do the lipstick thing. All right, all right, let's, let's go out here. Let's go. Honestly, I feel like out of all the guys, he was the most casual about it. He's just like, oh, you got something in your teeth. Take it? Yeah. <laughs> One thing that is making me a little bit uncomfortable is how touchy Brandon is wanting to be during this photo shoot. We have had this like connection all week, but I'm kind of ready for him to stop doing that type of stuff and to get to actually know me. How's this? Here, go again. So, come like right there. Yeah, and like kind of look back. Right? <laughs> kind of. So. Kind of. Kind of look back. Does it look cool or no? Oh my gosh, it does kind of look cute. I hate that any angle that I was trying to get that was supposed to be bad ended up being good. <laughs> After the photo shoot, uh, we're just kind of on the balcony talking and honestly, I'm at the point where, yeah, I'm sure I, I could sit there for hours and talk to her, but I just don't want to. I just, we have, we had only a little bit of time and I, I've said everything I needed to say to her. I truly believe that and that's it. Now it's time for the first round of eliminations. The worst part of the show. We are doing two eliminations in this episode and I'm very nervous because I had an idea of who I wanted to eliminate last night, first thing in the morning, but I think now my mind has changed. Hey guys! Hey. So that was really fun, I hope yeah. you guys had fun, yeah? yeah fun. The pictures turned out great. You all are actually really good photographers. Yeah. I may not be the best. No, you're team. not. Okay. No, you'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, it was really fun. So actually, the real challenge of that photo shoot challenge was to notice like details and stuff and make sure that I looked good and all of you passed because I purposely put lipstick on my teeth and you all were very sweet about it and made sure I was looking good for photos and you didn't leave me hanging. <laughs> so that's good. So there is actually no MVP of this challenge and you guys are going to go on the one-on-one -on -one dates but not just yet. We are actually going to go into eliminations and eliminate one of you right now. So let's head to eliminations. I guess we're doing eliminations now. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. 
yeah, I don't know what's happening right now because everybody got the lipstick thing. So nobody really like messed anything up. So I'm just confused and that's adding to my stress and I'm a little scared right now. A, a lot scared actually. When we do eliminations, it's really hard for me to make eye contact with them. I'm looking at Brandon and he is sweating. This whole like experience has been super fun and getting to know all of you has just been absolutely amazing and I will always remember this experience. To the person who is going home, I just want them to know that whoever is out there, the person you end up with is going to be the most lucky person in the entire world because you are absolutely amazing. She is shifting through some very kind things to say and I kind of have a feeling it might be me. I think it's me. I have a feeling that um, I'm gonna be chosen. So the person who is not a match for me is Him. She announces my name. I'm kind of like speechless. I'm a little delirious right now. I'm in shock. It doesn't matter why she didn't choose me. She just didn't choose me and you know, I'm gonna move on. I do wish that it ended better. It seemed like I didn't really care, but it was just more of like, I don't know, I was shocked. So I'm like more feeling now. I didn't even say goodbye to the guys. I just straight walked away. I think it's all hitting me now, but yeah. I had a great experience, you know? That leaves you guys. You two are left. You guys can start preparing for your one-on-one -on -one dates. So I eliminate Tim and I just, I almost want to cry. Me too. He just leaves. Like most of the guys kind of like lingered around, said goodbye to everyone and he, he like just leaves. At the end of the day, I felt like I was always having to like start conversation with him. And I, I do understand he's a quiet guy and there's nothing wrong with being quiet and shy. It's just my personality is so big and bubbly, like I feel like I need someone who is going to, you know, start conversation and be outgoing and stuff. But I do like Tim, I did like him, I do like him. I feel horrible sending him home. I think Christian and me are completely opposite. Obviously we're both outgoing, but we are definitely very different. And at first I thought that he wasn't gonna make it because of that and he is now in the top two with me. So, so happy that I'm still here. So eliminations are done and Brandon and Christian start like, bro, yay, we're safe. Like, oh, you're cool. Like, they're bonding now. Of course, I'm telling you right now, Brandon has manipulated his way through all of the guys and now he's gonna get into Christian's head for sure. I was under the impression that Brandon and Christian didn't like each other, so to see them all buddy-buddy, it's kind of shocking. I think it's a little sketchy. Daddy! Hey, Tessa, how's it going? Hi. How have you been? Good. You been doing all right? <laughs> What's been going on? How are things going? You've eliminated some guys, I see. Yeah, so now it's left with Christian uh -huh. and Brandon. That was the final two. Hey, you know, you just gotta trust your heart. You yeah. just gotta trust, and you just gotta make the decision and just go for it and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what anybody else thinks, except for me. All right, so we are about to hop into our one-on-one -on -one dates. How are you feeling? I have a really tough decision to make because I like them both. I think they both have different qualities about them that I like more than the other. And it's just, at this point, it just I have to go with what my heart is telling me to do. And I feel like I need to listen to what you have to say too. But you haven't. <laughs> I'm just gonna do these one-on-one -on -one dates. I'm gonna go for it, have fun, enjoy my time with these boys, and let's see what happens. So the producers tell me to sit down on the couch 
before Brandon's date and I'm a bit confused because for a date, aren't we supposed to do something? I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not planning anything. I'm just gonna tell her how I feel and that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the date. So I hope this doesn't make you mad, but uh, I just want to come out here to like, kind of like tell you um, how I feel about you and then that's it. I, I don't need like 45 minutes with you to tell you that. Um, I'm gonna tell you how I feel and then it'll be elimination. Um, okay. <laughs> um, you're probably like one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. Like I. I like knew when you like walked in and I like first met you that first day that like you're just, you, you have a really good heart and I think that's why you and me got along so well differently than everyone else at the beginning. I'm so glad that I met you and I'm glad that you met me and honestly whoever you pick tonight it's, it's, uh, it's, on, it's up to you, I don't, I'm, I have no hard feelings against him, I have no hard feelings against you, whoever you pick, uh, that's your choice at the end of the day who you want to be with. I just want you to know like a million girls next to me, I would without a doubt pick you. Just keep being a mush. No matter what happens, they'll keep me. <laughs> I'm not scared to get like vulnerable at all. Obviously, I've let my guard down because of all of this. And so because of that, after this, not knowing what could happen is what kind of like gets me. So Brandon stops talking and just gets up and leaves and doesn't really give me a chance to say anything. There is like a difference between love, lust, and liking someone in passion. And I feel like right now I'm just lusting after Brandon because I think he's really cute. I'm a sucker for tattoos. So I'm just lusting after him and I'm ignoring all the bad things I've seen all week and stuff. And I think we tend to get confused between lust and love and we sometimes confuse lusting as love and that's really bad sometimes. <laughs> I'm finishing up, setting up this whole painting thing. Now I'm getting nervous. I have no idea what Brandon did there, during their time, but I'm very excited to see her and get to spend this time with her. Hello. Hi. What is this? This is painting. Painting? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Yep, I, uh, I figured, because um, earlier you were talking about how I'm apparently good at everything, so I wanted to pick something that I'm very, very bad at, <gasps> which is painting. Oh my gosh. And I've heard you're good at it, so I was you hoping that you would teach me how to paint something. Okay. I think it's really sweet that Christian is taking into consideration things that I like and wanting to try new things with me and do stuff that he's not good at. <laughs> Cause he's literally good at everything. I'm gonna paint you a blue kitty. Aww. Okay. I'm gonna paint you some pretty flowers. Oh man, it feels like the first day was so long ago. That's what I was thinking this morning. It has been... It has been a around. journey. It has been. How are you doing? I'm doing Six good. Six days later. And I feel, I feel very, like, not stressed out today. Good. I feel very bad because I was, like, stressed good. out the other days, and, like, I feel like I made everyone else feel stressed out. But no. I'm a, I'm a huge empath. Um, I have, like, a lot mm -hmm. of empathy, so yeah. when someone I care about is really stressed out, then I feel really stressed out too. Me too. And I just want to do whatever I can to make them feel better. When I'm with Christian, it's effortless, it's stress-free, I'm not conflicted about anything, and I just enjoy his presence a lot. And it's just, I feel comfortable. I'm just comfortable and I'm myself. You know what's really cool about you? What? Is you're just like so down to earth and just chill. I enjoy talking to you. Like, you don't, you're not like putting up a front or anything. That's what I like about you is that I don't really feel like I have to put up a front whenever I talk to you. As you know, I'm a very outgoing guy. Yes. With a lot of jokes um, <laughs> and a lot of bad jokes. Yeah. And so, but I really like you because I can say those bad jokes around you and not feel weird about it or. or Stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I can just no. be myself and be completely open around you. Aw, I like that too. Can you do this? Oops. 
I think Vanessa likes me because I'm, I'm very out there, I'm outgoing, I love to make her laugh, and I like to just be around her, and I think I bring a certain positivity that she is attracted to. I have considered myself blessed every day Aww. that I get to keep getting to know you and spend time with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Here's your painting. This <laughs> is beautiful. Don't you love it? I love this Here. so much. Please look at my painting. Admire my work, please. And I did not finish it. Do you want to finish it? I was going to do a gold outline. Here, do you want me to finish it for you? I would love that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get wait, to see the, the pro goal? at work. I play all of my cards and I make moves and I put myself out there and I see what happens. And so, you know, it's down to whatever Vanessa's preference is. Okay, so okay. let's see. Here are... Little Boy Blue and... and... The Colorful Flower. <laughs> colorful. There was something here that I could feel from the start and I'm very glad that I'm still here. Yeah, I'm glad you're still here. Thank you. You're so sweet, Christian. This date was a breath of fresh air right before heading into eliminations. It was just nice. We're about to go in. Brandon kind of pulls me aside, says he wants to talk to me, and I have no idea if Brandon is as sincere as I am or as sincere as he puts out. I gotta ask you, um, at first, I really, really didn't think that you like liked her. Like yeah. most of the guys, I didn't think that. Mm -hmm. No matter what, who she chooses, that she'll be, she'll be in good hands. Yeah, um, We actually have this really good moment where we both agree that Kind of whichever way it goes, either one of us are gonna take care of Vanessa and make sure she's treated right because we both really care for her. So I was looking for clarity and I think I finally got it and I'm ready to head into eliminations. So I've had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys this week and you both are absolutely amazing to get to know and talk to and I enjoy everything about you guys. You both are absolutely great guys and it's really hard for me to come to a decision. The person who I'm eliminating I could say so many things about them and how great they are and... Oh my god, this feels like an eternity right now. <sighs> the person who is not a match for me is Brent. I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. I don't even want to be here. I want to go. So the person who is a match for me is Christian. And I can't wait to get to know you more. Oh my God. I am so happy right now. I, I didn't even dream of this happening on day one, but I am over the moon. I'm so ecstatic and so looking forward to the future. I can't wait to get to know her more, spend more time with her. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I didn't get picked, that's it. Let her deal with Christian, no, that's it. So I'm going home. And I just lost a great girl too. That's it, I wanna go. I wanna go. Okay, please let me go. He always just kind of surprises me. He's always super sweet and just super kind and I can just tell he's genuine. At the end of the day, I think I made the best decision for myself. Yeah, I think I, I did good. I have spent 
the last week finding the most authentic and amazing person I have met and I am so happy to have spent this week with Vanessa. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for me and my match. This has been a crazy experience, especially for me to watch and just be a part of this. We had no idea that this show and this whole journey would come to this. I'm glad with my decision, Christian is a great guy and I really enjoy his presence and he's just awesome. To all of you who are searching for love, do not give up. There is hope and there is someone out there who is perfect for you. Let us know in the comments below if I chose the person you thought I was going to choose. Also, let us know if we should do a season two where we match our single friends up with some guys or girls. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to our channel as well. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. We're, we're the, the Merrill Twins. Twins. And today we're going to be reacting to season one of Twin My Heart. Vanessa was on a dating show and I helped her find her true love. So if you haven't checked it out, you guys should go watch it right now before you watch this video. Yes, six episodes, they were really good. Don't wanna miss it. There's a lot of things that happened off camera or that I didn't see. So we're going to react to some of those stuff from each episode. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm nervous. But okay, let's go. Oh, this is Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Alex was sobbing. The house. Alex was. I was so shook when Alex came out of the van. I was like surprised at first. I'm like, why is he here? Like, we're already friends. Like, I thought it would be fun to have him on the show because you know he is a friend and he was someone that you knew. The rest of the guys were strangers, mm -hmm. so I I thought why not bring one of our friends. So a lot of people ship me and Alex and Alex and I are great friends. We're really good friends, we hang out a lot. I just don't think he's like my type to date. We do enjoy similar things and we laugh at the same types of jokes and he's really sweet and just a good human being. But I just really enjoy his friendship a lot. Just publicly friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> I am making friends. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite. Like, Look how excited moments. I am. And look how excited I am too. He was making French toast. <laughs> French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, Ugh, honestly. It's kind of whack. Why? So we didn't. He's trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, then it's been two times now. Oh my gosh, everyone's hating on Christian. Why is everyone hating about on the French toast? Look, like, everyone's getting cereal. He was making it for everyone. Yeah, he's so sweet. And like, everyone was hating on him. I enjoyed the French toast. Like, what's wrong with French toast? Specifically, cinnamon French toast. I feel like during this time, all the guys were being really mean, and I didn't know why. But now that I'm watching it and seeing all their confessionals and stuff, it makes me realize that they were just really jealous of Christian and his cooking skills, and they were just mad because the day before he had the creme brulee, and then not all the French toast. Sorry that Christian knows the way to a girl's heart. And that's food. food. <laughs> so we were just enjoying like the sunset with stuffed animals and stuff. <gasps> Literally, he walked in and I, like you see the look on my face like, like that's my like look, I'm like. In comes Brandon, glances through the window. But my face was like, gives a typical <laughs> and runs out the door, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> Christian is so funny. Aww. I was so confused. Like look how confused I am. Yeah. And then I saw him running out of the house. Look, I was like asking the producers, I'm like, he's running away. And I was like, should I go after him? Cause here's the thing, pause. So the reason I ran after him was actually because I thought he was legit leaving the show. And I was like, he can't leave the show. Like, and none of the producers were going after him or camera guys or no one stopped him from leaving. So I was like, I have to go after him. And I felt 
absolutely horrible leaving Christian because I was having such a great time, but I was like, he's leaving, like we can't leave. I was in our room, just <laughs> chilling on my bed. I was so tired, I was like. <sighs> then all of a sudden I hear this slam, like really loud. And so I got up and I went out into the hallway and I see Brandon, he walks by me, he's like, this is stupid or something like this. And he run walks down the stairs and then I'm like, what just happened? And everyone else, the sound guys were like, what? And we were all like, well, I don't know what's going on. Then all of a sudden, you run out of the room, going down the stairs, and I'm like, oh, well, where is she going? Then I see Kat, the producer, running down the stairs too. And then I see a sound guy with a boom running <laughs> down the stairs too. And I was like, what is going on? So then I went out to the balcony with Christian and then I like figured out what was happening. All right, so this is during the twin swap challenge, and this is when I swapped with Nessa with Brandon in the room, and he didn't even notice. I am so sorry. Like, I didn't, it was, like, oh I my gosh, he hugged me. Look, I'm, did you see my face? <laughs> did you see my face? <gasps> she went, I'm so like uncomfortable here. No. He had, and he had I no idea. I can't believe he had no idea. But I will say, this game, <laughs> she, I was like, your hey. facial expression is very... I got to spit all over Brandon. Did you do it on purpose? No, it was a game. <laughs> I just did not want to be in that room because like, I, he was, he's just very unpredictable mm -hmm. even just throughout the whole season. And I was just like, what if he like, tries to kiss me or like tries to grab my hand or starts rubbing my arm or like leg and I was like, I ain't about that. <laughs> if he would have done that, I probably would have like blown our oh cupboard from God. doing the twin swap. So apparently it was Cecil's idea and Tim took it. Yeah. Like I, this is sassy Cecil right here. He got so like upset. Look at Tim, he's like, <laughs> everyone's like, Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I felt bad for Tim. Like, <gasps> yeah, I told him to, see, to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way, and I didn't expect him to call. I didn't expect him to call me out like that. Why did Brandon tell Cecil? Brandon was just stirring the pot he for everything. He was really everything. stirring the pot. I really saw like everybody's true colors after the show was filmed. This was filmed like ahead of time long ago. And when I was watching this show, I was like, no wonder why so many people didn't like a certain someone. And I was like, oh, this was when Brandon and Christian were fighting. Brandon was just really like. Look, Christian's just trying to be like, have a talk about it. And just Brandon was just like, no. <laughs> with his glasses on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He like basically, Brandon basically threatened Christian. Look at Alex, he was trying to calm him down. And just Alex like, was trying to calm Brandon down and... Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't see what happened. Oh, this was the night oh, after. Oh, yeah, the night This is the morning after Brandon kissed me. Tim, Tim looked oh, stressed. Tim. Christian looked so stressed out. Everyone was so stressed out. Vanessa stressed. You were stressed. Oh, Christian really cared about you. Christian was so nice and like such a the oh, bigger person. Oh, he's trying person. to talk to him again. Like looking at the show and everything, I was just like, dang. We had no idea this we was happening. No idea. Literally, Literally no idea. But like, aren't you glad that Christian was like the mature one? In oh the yeah. I my decision was good. I picked right. <laughs> So I've just kicked Brandon off. So this is his confessional. That's it. Let her deal with Christian. No, that's it. So I'm going home, and I just lost a great girl too. That's it. I want to go. I don't. I, wanna I go. can't tell. Okay. He's like, I want to go. Please, let me go. Like I can't tell if he was legit sad to go for, or if he was pretending and I think that was my issue with Brandon the entire time I couldn't tell if he was saying things for the show or if he actually genuinely had feelings for me and I couldn't deal with that I think he genuinely had feelings for you I think it kind of clearly shows right there I can get really analytical about those types of things and I can't deal with that so I'm like 
you gotta go. So this is when Erin asked all the guys what her best quality is. A bit more comfortable. What do you, um, what do you guys think Nessa? of Nessa? Oh, you guys got quiet. Everyone got quiet really quick. <laughs> so Nessa, she's very yeah. sweet. Okay. All right. One, one word, same thing. Okay. Thing about her, go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Okay. Dimples, Dimples smile, smile, eyes, okay. freckles, personality, her, her positivity. Positivity, yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, said my positivity. Oh, he was so sweet. That's like okay. such a nice thing to say about someone, like in general. Yeah, like, it really is. What's your favorite thing about Vanessa? Everyone straight went to like physical appearance, while Christian went to like personality, personality and stuff. And I think that's so sweet of him. I think it speaks think. a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. if a guy likes you for your looks and only your looks, maybe you should rethink about being with that guy because they have to like everything about you, not just what mm -hmm. you look like. Right. So this is the guys taking the test. And Brandon literally He got a zero. Got zero. Nessa, he got a zero on your compatibility test. Look how like how happy he is about getting zero. I'm just like okay, one I still think I'm gonna get that one on one date. Well, I mean, obviously it didn't matter to you that he got a zero. Well, so okay, hold let me explain. So Obviously he got a zero and I was like like oh kind of sad about it. But you know, I was also thinking like, oh well opposites attract, right? So I was like, I'll still give him a chance because you know he's com like we're complete opposites and there was like like more physical chemistry there. Um, but obviously <laughs> you guys know I w didn't choose him at the end of the day, but it's the fact that he was so confident still that he would get a one-on-one -on -one date after he failed my compatibility test, like not even one question right. Like at that point, he just went blah, 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 blah. Like I feel like he just didn't even try. But it didn't matter because he stuck till the end. Oh, this is me and Tim's date. This, oh, this is one of my favorites because we just chilled and I feel like we instantly had a spark. He's because we twerk. I can twerk. The fact that I said I can twerk and he said we instantly had a spark. I feel like a lot of people were like, why did Tim stick around so long? But I think people forgot about how like good this date went. Yeah, and that's why I kept so him sweet. around because I was I really liked Tim. I thought he was so sweet and kind and genuine. Again, and he was very opposite to me. Like very opposite to me. But we had things in common. What up, boys? Okay. Oh. So this is Alex and Aaron joining us at bowling. Oh yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Can I say something? I was having a miserable time at bowling. Literally, I was just sitting there. It didn't make it in the final like cut of the episode. It didn't come out across that I was having a really bad time, but I really was. <laughs> so like, I texted the producer, I was like, can I invite Erin? <laughs> and she was like, yes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, they're down the street. So then I, we, um, yeah, I texted them and then they came and yeah, this so is they what showed happened. up. They showed up. And I was so excited when they showed up. Cause Every, it was so awkward. It literally was so like awkward. The thing is, so wait, Christian and Tim were making a really good effort, but Brandon and Alex, Alex just like their demeanor and their vibe was just making the whole experience well, so. Awkward. It was also I was in my mind that, that I was like, Alex H has got to go because remember that whole thing happened right before that. Mm -hmm. It's like he's he's leaving. I didn't care that he was doing nothing. If you guys didn't know, here's some tea. The night Brandon kissed me and everything, that outfit I'm wearing, I'm wearing in a video Alex posted on his channel. So it was that same night. So I had my mental breakdown and all that stuff. And Alex came over to film the video. And it was just really sweet because it really like just calmed me down and my nerves and everything. And he was like, so how's it going? Like, are you good? Like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Like Brandon kissed me, all this stuff. And he was like, do you know who you're going to pick? And I was like, no. And Alex just was like, you know, based on the first day and what the guys were telling me and stuff, he said, you know, Brandon's a player and maybe you should be very wise about choosing if you're gonna go with him or not. Just be careful because of the things he was telling Alex. And he said in front of you too, 
you know. So. Oh, but did you listen to me or Alex? Eventually, no. I did. Come on, I did eventually. Ready? Eventually, but it took you a, a bit. There was some major tea spilled that night from Alex Wasabi, just to clarify. And so it really did affect my decision making for the end. Alex is a good friend. At the end, I made a really good friend and, you know, loyal friend and just really realized, you know, how people are, like, in your front of you, behind your back, and it just made me think about a lot of stuff. So I learned a lot from this experience. Yeah, I'm very, we're both very grateful for the mm -hmm. experience and the friend that we both made. Do you think season two will top this season? <gasps> season two? Thanks for watching! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel while you're at it, and if you didn't watch any of the episodes of Twin My Heart, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Comment down in the comments below what your favorite moment from season one was. And we'll 